Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with J53518, ready to help, sir. And the two of us are here to celebrate our birthdays. Huzzah! <laughs> So, yeah, if this whole thing works out, you guys, we will be on here. We would love to ask you guys, uh, we would like for you guys to ask us questions. You know, just ask us anything, nothing too personal, but just ask us what you would like to, you know, for us to answer. So, yes. And I have some little criteria, if I may, Tiger Dude, of the questions you can ask. Nothing too personal and only pertaining to our channels and how we are socially. Not in a gay yeah, way. We could go for that. So as the guy is Tiger Dude, the man of tigers and reviewer of movies and everything else. And I am J53518, also known as the random critic. Yeah, that was my original name. Psyched, I know. <laughs> ah, let's begin. And now we play the waiting game. So how are you doing, J5? I'm doing good, Tiger Dude. How are you on this beautiful Sunday morning? Happy birthday to you, my friend. Happy birthday to you, dude. Thank you. And if you guys are wondering if that's a coincidence, I wish it were. Yeah. Yeah, we can just chat while we're waiting on for the questions, if we get yeah, some. Right. If we, I know, but hey, who knows. Yeah. Man, I'm excited for what to choose for my dinner tonight. Either a buffet like Golden Corral or something crappy like that, or maybe a good <laughs> sirloin steak at a Chili's or something awesome like at a Genghis Grill, man. I'm ready to go yeah. egg out tonight. For my birthday, I'm going to go eat at Red Lobster. Nice Red choice, man. Lobster. Not nice. <laughs> I was Thanks, looking man. for Yeah, it's true. Nice choice. Originally, I was going to choose Texas Roadhouse, but I'm being an idiot because there's one near my house in Chantilly. God damn it. It's like right across from my damn house. That's so not a bad choice, though. Texas Roadhouse, Texas Roadhouse is actually pretty good. I was going to say Hooters. <laughs> yeah, bring on the Hooters. <laughs> well, I've been to one. Me and my dad were just like, okay, bring in the beers, baby. Okay. Who's this, sweetie? And you want any cheese with that? I was like, oh, you know the cheese I like, baby. There's nacho <laughs> cheese. <laughs> hey, he's having fun. Yay. Oh, yes. The nice, good old nacho cheese joke we haven't heard thousands of times. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, let me look up. Oh, uh, wait, I forgot. We're still on the channel. I can look up. Let me look up something, right, man? Yeah. Look up, uh, Remember, um, uh, whoever is watching right now, feel free to ask me a question. J53518 a question. Yeah. Just ask us what you would like to know. Yeah. Uh, the location? Yes. 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 There's one near downtown, man. That's awesome. Uh, for which one? For the Hooters location. There's one near my dad's office. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It's I forgot. It's near the border. Fuck. You go pendejas. Oh, I'm sorry, people. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try not to cuss as much in this. Um, forgive me, but no, it's okay, dude. Cuss. Just cuss away, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. Uh, motherfucking okay, Michael with a motherfucking king cunt, little bitch ass bitch ass, but king cunt quiz ass plot. Uh, motherfucking. I just had like some kind of piss off or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to do George Carlin's seven dirty words you can't say. Bitch, motherfucker, bitch, and twat, jerk, cunt. There you go. <laughs> I just did the great one, and George Carlin kicks ass. It's all like, this birthday live stream is rated R for strong language throughout. It's just a What the heck? What is that? Oh, that was the phone, man. What the f oh, I was say, you calling aliens now? I'm scared. <laughs> nope, that was just one of my brother's friends, but he answered the phone. So. Your brother scares me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought the first Luis, time he right? told me. <laughs> His name's Luis, right? What? Is your brother's name Luis? No. Um, uh, you're thinking my best friend, Wang Young Swag 5. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> have time to uh, before the questions. I want to know you again with the song. It's not Friday. All right. Remember, we can't use music too much due to the dumb copyright rules YouTube has. So. Ugh, I can't use music. Fuck it. You could you could play like ten or fifteen seconds of it, dude. But that's it. So at least give us Bye. a fifteen second mark. Okay, no, turn it off. Turn turn that off. Okay. It's the I know. I'm sorry, people. I'm having too much fun with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> man, I just you, already, I you, already killed, you already killed my birthday, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but you did disturb me with that, though. You did disturb me. No. I had that at the theater. Apparently, true story, folks, if you're on right now. I went to see Transformers. There was a nagging baby right next to me. The fucker won't shut the fuck up. Hey, this is a good scene. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. Beach, come here. Come down, you little fucker. Jesus. I had to sit like five fucking feet away from the little bitch. Jesus. Yeah, yeah like, like um, like um, when when Serrano raised Jay and I went to go see Twenty Two Jump Street, there was a mom that brought a five year old daughter with her. She looked five years old. It's just all like, what are you doing? Bring what is a mom doing? Bringing a five year old daughter to an R rated film like Twenty Two Jump Street. Don't worry, man. Why did a daughter come see Planet Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? It's gonna be scary. All right. Well, I mean, it's PG-13. I'm sure some... Like, like the thing is that, yeah, it's going to have scary images, but I'm sure kids could still have fun with it, you know? They love monkeys. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I'm not seeing Don the Planet Apes until in the morning, but I'm just assuming. I understand. On your, point, on, your point of, on your point of view, J5, do you think it's a good movie for kids to watch, or...? I never said that in my review. Never said that in my review. For kids... If you're the age of 10 to 11, go watch it. Anything lower, stay out. Without without spoiling anything, how is the tone in Dawn compared to the tone in Rise? In the original, this one's more darker and more, you know, you get the point. It's more darker and more serious at points. It is very dramatic. Everything is a gun ho War, that's all I'm going to say. I can't spoil anything else. But the way it's yeah, done cause is... because Rise, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, yeah, it was serious, but it's not like it was a very dark movie. It was actually this pretty... This is more darker, movie. as you know from yeah. the look of the trailer. This is more darker, and it looks good. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in Don the Planet of the Apes, man. I hope it's better than I expected. Oh, for you guys wondering, I will review Guardians of the Galaxy, goddammit. I hope to see it early matinee to give you guys a review. For you know, Chris Pratt, Randy in the office. Let's see if you're good as Star Lord in the funniest comic book movie made, Coins of the Galaxy. And Rocket Raccoon sounds awesome. And he's voiced by Bradley Cooper. He's lying. He's going to see sex tape instead. <clears throat> what were you saying, Jake? I was I maybe give it a chance, but since you said something about sex tape, screw that, I'll watch playing folks. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm just seeing that in hopes that Cameron Diaz will get naked. In hopes, just like Jennifer Lawrence in Days of Days of Future Past. Uh, well, uh, covered in blue, you know. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand. Oh, here is my spout. Rub me all around. It. Oh, what? Sorry. Please. Someone just ask a question to stop this monstrosity. <laughs> Kakarot! Kakarot! <laughs> Foolish Kakarot! How do you feel like that? Right. Let's see what's going on right now. Let me see. <laughs> uh, 
Hold on, dude, looking at what's up. Nothing. Um, so no questions yet. Uh, Let's just give it a little time. We're only like about ten minutes into the live stream, yeah. anyways. You know, we have to we have to give it some time. So let's see how it goes. She bangs. She bangs. She moves. She. <laughs> Seven a.m. Oh, um, uh, oh, uh, Blake TV one hundred one said hello. What up, man? Hey, what up? Congratulations for subscribing to both our channels, man. Wait, if you have you... any questions, if you have any questions for us, Blake TV one hundred one, do not be afraid to ask. Me and Jay Fever here. Any questions for me? Any questions I'm for us? Are you from the UK? Is he from the UK? If he is, shout out to you Britons, you British. You're awesome. Yeah. Uh, Blake TV, yes. Blake TV. I wonder if this Q&A app actually works because I have to go on the YouTube page in order to see, like, the questions and all that. I understand. So I understand. Yeah. Uh, movies, I, I'm actually going to – actually, thank you for letting me reference this. Um, uh, I'll let you guys get to see me play my 3DS, actually, since I'm allowed to. Um, one second, people. Uh, oh, oh, my hairy feet. Oh, they, they look horrible. They look like hobbit feet. Gross. I don't want to reveal my dirty feet. I'm just kidding. I took a shower, so. <laughs> if you're wondering what sound it is, folks, take a guess. Sonic! It's a piece of shit. I'm just kidding. I like the original Sonic. Thank you. <gasps> no one hates on my Sonic. Okay, there. Someone has to be another than Mario to Plumber. Wow, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we're not talking about him in this video. I'm not bringing up that old troll. Because we don't talk about the past. We're talking about the now and why Doc Brown keeps saying 6.81 gigawatts. Or well, if you're asking the question if I'm a Doctor Who fan, no. But I can sound like David Tennant because I do this no impression of the Doctor. Very good, actually. It's whole limey, timey, gobbledy gook. That show is like crazy popular. I haven't seen Doctor Who, but I know a lot of friends that like talk about that show a lot. <laughs> All right. What about you? Any of your friends that talk about Doctor Who, man? Uh, some of them are. Let me play some Sonic. 3D version. See you guys, you guys know this from the video? This is my 3DS. I'm gonna get Smash Brothers, and also, if you're wondering, I have a game in here. Let me show it to you right now. This is Mario Kart 7. Awesome game. See? There's Sonic. Take me away, Sonic! Take me away from this live stream. I'm just kidding. You messed up. Yay! You messed up. Yay! Oh, that's not right, man. You missed it. You missed it. <laughs> I'm talking in Cleveland. Brown. <laughs> Are you hearing that? That's the sound of epicness, my friends. See. Epic. Oh no, I'm just seeing if we're getting more viewers. So far, we just have one. So, uh, let's see. Let's talk, uh, while we're waiting, let's talk about the trailer for The Judge. How do you think yeah. the trailer for The Judge looks, j Five? Well, how I feel about The Judge... Oh, I'm sorry, let me pause Sonic, folks, sorry. Yeah. Sonic's got to take a rest. Um, the Judge starring Robert Duvall and Robert Day Jr. as a son, lawyer, trying to help his father be a judge. I'm impressed with that movie. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a good drama, and the stakes are high, and he's not playing Iron Man, so 
I have faith in the movie. Yeah, because late, lately it's just Robert Downey Jr. playing Iron Man. Like, all, other than Sherlock Holmes, other than Sherlock Holmes, awesome. and, other than, and other than his one scene and Chef, he all he's been playing lately is just really Iron Man. Iron Man 3 was the best, including the first one. Next. Iron Man 3 is good, but the first Iron Man is uh, still the best, in my opinion. I would agree with you there. I was just I was testing you. As for my thoughts on The Judge, uh, I totally agree. This movie looks really impressive. It looks really interesting. You know, uh, obviously, Robert Downey Jr.'s character, he has a tough-ass father. They don't really seem to look eye-to-eye. Yeah, so I, I look forward to seeing how that all goes. And Billy Bob Thornton, who was fantastic in the Fargo TV show, he hasn't done a movie in a while, so it's good to see him do a movie again. But just the whole idea of the film overall looks very interesting. It's it's already on my must see for you know the fall of 2014. I can't wait for Judge. I think it looks terrific, and I just hope it'll be a fantastic movie. I'm sure it will. What are your thoughts of Brad Pitt, Casey Affleck, um, you know Gabriel? What's his name? I forget his name. Gabriel. Um, uh, we have Michael Pena, Shia LaBeouf, Logan Lerman. The movie Fury. How do you feel about that? The movie Fury. Yeah. Well, um, I I know Ooh. I told you this on Skype J Five, but in my opinion, I think the movie looks interesting. The thing that has me a little bit worried about the movie, though, is that it's from a director who has so far made a good movie. And a shitty movie. Like, it's from now, David who Ayer. Here, if you're wondering. David, yeah. What happened? Who is the director you're referring to? Uh, David uh, Ayer. He, uh, he, he directed End of Watch and he directed Sabotage. I liked End of Watch. I thought it was a good cop drama film. And, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Payne, they had good chemistry. And you have Sabotage, a movie I literally want to sabotage with Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> pretty much being the only good character. I hate I Sabotage, man. Uh, okay, honest truth, people. I've just seen the movie. I'll review it tomorrow for a special birthday review for you guys. I hate Sam Worthington from now on. I'm sorry. Because that movie, I can't treat him seriously. He was the right as person. No, uh, Sam, Wor- Sam Worthington is a good actor, and he was pretty good for what he's given in Sabotage. I don't know, but he's like, I just, he me. I'm sorry. I like. I just, drink- I just. Uh, oh, I just hate. I just hate sabotage. It's one of my worst movies of 2014. But I'm gonna actually do a review of my thoughts on Expendables three. We should talk about that also. What are your thoughts of Expendables three? Just bring on the movie. Kaboom! There, that's my. Okay. Thought. Josh Brolin, Bruce Willis in Sin City: A Dame to Kill For. A prequel. No, I, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Now, I think Expendables three looks awesome. Just to go a little more details, of course we have the original cast. We have the new cast. It's Wesley cool Snipes Antonio, is back. It's cool to Where's see Antonio Banderas in here back. and uh, Kellen Lutz, and we also have mm-hmm. um, Mel Gibson and Harrison Ford. So I'm really looking yeah. forward to Expendables three, man. I hate Kellen Lutz for Hercules. Why'd you, why'd you replace him with The Rock, please? That would've been great. You know, I hated The Legend of Hercules, but I did say in my review how I did think he did a pretty good job with the role. He tried to copy Chris Hensworth. Next! Now, my thoughts for a, mo- a show called Hemlock Wolf. If you're wondering... Oh, um, life- what, what do you think of Expendables 3, man? We didn't get to hear your thoughts. Oh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. You know me. I like, I like it when we take an old convention and make it new for a modern age, so... Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Bring on Stallone. Bring on no Chuck Norris. Fuck that shit. I like Chuck. Love Chuck Norris. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't believe they didn't bring back Chuck Norris for the third There's No episode. Jackie Chan. There's no Nicholas Cage. There's no Liam Hensworth, even though he died in the movie. Sorry, spoilers are there. Come on. Well, we this. have Jet Li. Yeah, I like martial arts. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we have the one and only Clint Eastwood. I mean, yeah, yeah you got that. I like Elias Wood. You got Wesley Snipes again. I have to say, tax evasion overdone. Yeah. Oh well, we got a we got a question from uh, Blake TV one hundred and one. What are your expectations for the new Hobbit? 
Go, you can go first on this one, J5. All right. Thank you, Blake, and good job, man. Hail from – if you're from the U.K., man, I forgot. I'm sorry to be angry here, but hail for you from the U.K., man. Good job. Um, my thoughts on the whole bit. Yeah, Master Gandalf. Sorry if I do the impressions of Martin Freeman because they're accurate. And Sir Ian McKellen as Gandalf in the way. Frodo Bilbo Baggins, you must find a way to find the shine. My precious. Thank you. But Gandalf, how can I not find it because of all the dwarves hate me? Bilbo, use the wisdom of the hobbits. You are a hobbit, and a hobbit knows where a wizard cannot go. Thank you. Bye. As you can, actors are good. Do what you did for the last few movies. And don't end on a cliffhanger, god damn it. All I ask, stop ending on cliffhangers. Thank you. I'm done. You take it, dude. Yeah, pro the, probably the biggest cliffhanger that literally left you hanging big, man. It's like, why end on such an epic scene like that? <laughs> Bog my flying in gold over to the to the ribbon. You know where I am talking about. Uh, yeah. Okay. But my thoughts. But my thoughts for the third one, as you guys don't know, uh, it's called The Hobbit: The Battle of the Five Armies. I'm really excited for it. I'm sure this is going to be like this is going to be like the most epic of the Hobbit franchise. Well, Hobbit trilogy. Yeah. A lot of action. I'm sure it'll be more darker, and I just look forward to seeing how this whole storyline is told. I haven't read any of the books, so please no spoilers. I want to watch the movie, being completely surprised, and just expecting it to be just as fantastic as the first one and as the second one. That's all I hope from the final Hobbit film. And also, I'm sorry to mention this, Blank TV. Forgive me, and forgive me, Tiger Dude. I agree with what you're saying. Darker. Darker is better. The story is getting more intense. Yes. I hope we can finally see the elves and the dwarves and the humans come together to fight not only the dark powers of Saruman, but Smaug. And I want them to do that so that they can make it more dramatic, a little less funny, and stick to the story as much as they can without butchering. I'm not saying they didn't. Without the haters, I know people are going to hate but if they can make it look good in any way, then let's get the boat rolling, right? Good. Right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, Quagmire. Hey, what's up, Drink the beer. I do. You win. What? Another beer. I'm going for the high score. Well, Charlie's going for the high score. Hey, man, your clock won't punch. You pack a punch, my friend. I tell you, what's the next question from this douchebag? I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Um, so far, um, no other questions from how I see here. Actually, I have a question for Blake TV. I'm sorry, this is stupid. Are you from the UK? I'm sorry, that's still on my mind. Don't get upset. I'm confused. We all why, do you wanna, why do you want to know where Blake's is from? Just to understand. <laughs> to know where he's from, so I don't get accused. Hey, man, I ain't from England, you bastard. I don't want to be cussed out in my own language. Jesus. Well, that's all up to Blake if Blake is comfortable answering that. If he's not, that's all right. I'm just, this, is, this is the thing that came out to me. I don't mean it. You don't have to answer it, Blake. I'm just asking. Just I, I'm curious, you know. Oh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, not man. A we're, all, we're all not curious. A I'm not going to go sneak in your, your tea and say, hello, love. I'm not going to do that. Sorry to be a little racist, but, you know. <laughs> I'm not being a bad guy here. Just remember, I'm just curious. All right. You're always a good sport. All right. Back to the gaming. I'm sorry. I'm being a good person. No! What are you dancing around to? I'm playing Sonic. He's in this map with excited. Don't lose the moment for me, Tiger Dude. I'm gonna be crying if you go. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, let me talk to Penguin. Penguin, are you going to join us for this birthday retreat? Oh, uh, you want me to do the Penguin voice? Yeah, talk to Penguin. Will he join us? Because I think people are going to ask Um, him. I think Penguin's a little too tired. Shut up. Fuck up, Penguin. All right, I Well, if, if Penguin were here, he would say, Thank you, Jacob, and have a motherfucking birthday, and I hope it sucks ass. Oh, yeah, thank you, little shit. You're lucky you're not in Texas. You'll be dead in two minutes because of the dry heat. You know, Penguin, man, if he was here, he would just be a douchebag to you. Even if it's your birthday, he doesn't give a shit, he'll still be mean. Homer's, and Homer has to apologize to me. Oh, yeah, from the Brick Like Me review and my Animation Domination Reviews 21. Uh, uh, By the way, uh, if you guys uh, haven't seen that, I watch Animation Domination Reviews 21. J5 guest starred with me in that video to review the Lego Simpsons episode, and let's just say things between him and Homer in that video haven't gone so well. Sorry, I and some of you watching are probably wondering, who is Penguin? Because I know we have new subscribers here, man. So, um, uh, for those of you that don't know who it is, I made two videos. Um, it was a video me, Sarah J, and William Swift I made a couple of years ago. That's where I introduced Santa and Penguin. They were the narrators. Um, I believe it's called the Ultimate Christmas Special 2012. Right. That was their first video, and the second video the next year. I made a bill called What the 22 Tag Did Get for Christmas, and it's Santa Claus and Penguin telling you what I got for Christmas. I know it's some of you told me it was a, it's meant to be a funny video. If you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it because you get to see Santa and Penguin just get head to head each other. It's pretty fun. Here's a good if reference. Want, if you want something entertaining, just watch it. <laughs> here's a reference. He got. The Monsters University coffee mug set. And because it's his favorite movie of 2013. Hooray! <laughs> Shut You're... the fuck up. And if you're wondering what I'm going to oh, do... Oh, uh, uh, Blake answered your question, man. Um, Blake said, no, I'm not from the UK. What makes you think that? Ha ha, I'm Canadian. Thank you. Forgive me. The face gave it away. I'm just you kidding. just probably made things awkward there, man. <laughs> it's, all like, it's, all like, it's all like, who the hell assumes someone is from the UK? That's like me saying, oh, are you from Canada, J5? <laughs> Blake, I'm sorry I asked, but the word Blake TV, I've seen like Blake because Bla gives, it's a common name. Never mind. I'm sorry, you're Canadian. My okay, I'm gonna ask you say, how is it there up in the big wet, white snow there, eh? I want to know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. I have to respect Canadians because of your free healthcare. <laughs> Dang you, Blake TV. I'm just kidding. You rock, dude. Yeah. For those watching, once again, if you have any questions, ask us questions. Make sure you do it uh, before J5 questions Blake more. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Brown on Blake. Calm your horses, J5. Calm your horses. <laughs> it's called Brown on Blake Night. Oh, goody, look, we have two viewers now. Awesome. So hopefully that'll help us get some questions from there. I'm done. <laughs> Here, uh, while we're waiting for more questions, let's talk about something else. Hey, um, that's right. Um, how do you think an Annabelle standalone film is going to work out, man? Like, you remember the Annabelle doll from The Conjuring? Do you, oh. think, do you think that'll work out as a standalone movie? No, you could have her make out with Chucky. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying. I know. I know the movie's coming out October of this year. <laughs> um, I really like The Conjuring. Check out my movie review if you guys haven't. Along with the special creepy intro I made in that review, thanks to my cousins that came from out of town to help me film that. But 
Yeah, I really like The Conjuring. I thought it was a really good movie. And the Annabelle doll, man, dude, I could not forget about that doll a month after I saw it. Like, I would be too scared to walk in the dark hallways because I would think I would imagine an Annabelle doll. As for a movie, um, I don't know how it's going to work out exactly. Yeah, I don't I'll, know have how to, I'll have to wait for a trailer, to be honest. Me too. Uh, yeah, if that doll is voiced by Chris Tucker, then we're in for a show. Yeah. I made a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, chala, chala, and chala. Nani to call to me at all sick of all. Oh, um, uh, Jacksick99 just said, what's up, guys? Just tuned in. Hey, what's Jack up, uh, Paul? How are you doing? What up, Paul Lee Short? I'm just kidding. Paulie, what's up, Paul? By the way, you guys, I just want to let you know that the other night I actually got to join Jack Sick, uh, Jack Sick 99's live stream along with JW Universe. It was a lot of fun. It was my first time meeting Paul and James uh, in, uh, for the first time, and Brian Mendoza was in it for a little bit, so I got to meet him I for the first time. I saw that. Good as job, well. you guys. Yeah, it was really fun. Shout out to you guys. Excellent job. Yeah, ch check it out. It's on Jack Sick 99's channel. No, actually, you know what? I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's me, him, and JW. We pretty much chat for nearly three hours long, but it was a lot of fun, and I want to thank you for that, by the way, Paul. Good job, Paul. You know how long three hours is? Watching Leonardo DiCaprio die repeatedly in Titanic. Yeah. Ah, 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 okay, ah. I got a question from Jesse Taylor saying, do you like sports? Yeah, are they asking both of us? Yeah. Any I'm, questions um, we get to, they could be from both of us. On and off. I mean, I do watch basketball a bit, and I am since I live in the. I'm not gonna I, since I was. Since I'm, I'm not gonna tell you where I live, but you know, since I've you know moved from time to time, I do get into basketball and baseball, and and obviously NFL because you know, ever since John Madden left, I gotta keep thinking about why he's not there. I know he retired from. Oh, I'm practicing the second week. You know, but. You know, it's my father, you know, got me into football, obviously, when I was a little boy, you know, since Detroit, man, you know, back then. But uh, I'm on and off in sport. I'm not a big sports guy, but, you know, when there's a good game, I'll watch it. So that's my take. What do you think, Tiger, dude? Are you a sports man? Um, I don't, like, play sports. Like, yeah, I'll play for sure. fun. Like, say, for example, if my cousins or my friends are over, we'll play football for fun or play basketball for fun or even volleyball or, hell, even sometimes tennis. But, like, in terms of being involved in it, not really. And in terms of watching it, you know, I'm not the biggest watcher with sports. I mean, I'll watch football, and that's mainly because my family's in the living room all the time watching it. So I'll, like, walk by and say, eh, fuck it, I'll watch football with them. So it's like, I'll watch it, but it's not like I'm the biggest fan of it. You know what I mean? Good question, man, and there's your response. Thanks, quite, thanks for the question, Jesse Taylor. Oh, thanks, um, we Jesse got... Taylor. Um, a Blake TV 101 said, I have a review channel called Slackers Reviews. Any yeah. advice on gaining subscribers? Uh, yes. Um, first Tiger Dude, then me. What do you think, good old, like, old chum? Um, really, to gain subscribers, it really does take patience. But, I mean, just do what you can do. Like, like, just make sure, first of all, it's always important that you have really good quality. Um, make sure people could hear you and really just have fun. Be yourself. Spread the word um, mm -hmm. to your subscribers. And, you know, even, um, yeah, that's, that's really it. it. It's just all about having fun and having good quality and just making sure you connect with your subscribers. What about you, J5? What do you think? I'm pissed. I killed Sonic. Oh. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Fuck Sonic. Was any any oh, advice question? for Blake, man? Oh, what's your question, Blake? You want to know how to make a good get subscribers? Well, really, to be like a Tiger dude, I totally agree, bro. Be patient. Be creative. Be thought provoking. Like Inception. Mind, mind fuck people. Try to oh, think of a way. God, to... a fucking good movie. <laughs> Great movie. But back to the point, Blake. I Slacker reviews. Do you review games and movies? Because if not, dude, I can help you on some of those old movies. Because me and Tiger are a good pair of critics that can really help you out. So if you have questions, you can ask us. But really, it's about 
appearance, communication, projection, reasoning and logic, knowing what you're talking about, and assessment, you know, knowing what you're going over and review. So if you know those, you're going to make it, man. You're going to go far. But, yeah, if you follow the tips we give, you become like us. And good luck to your channel, man. All praises for you. That's really good advice, man. I'll be honest, that's actually better than what I give because me, it's all like I have to think uh, exactly how to say it. You know what I mean? Well, thank you, man. I don't mean that. Oh, go ahead. No, you don't have to play it. Put too much praise on me. It's just too much, man. I mean, but thank you, though. Yeah. And Jack Sig9 responded to what I said earlier about me being in his live stream. He responded to me, yeah, no problem, buddy. Anytime you're a great company. Well, thanks, Paul. We really, I really appreciate that. All right, let's see if any more questions pop up. We have three viewers now, so it's starting to add up slowly. Let's get this. For, the, for those of you on the live stream, I want to say thank you so much for celebrating our birthdays. Yes. What is the there's, there's, a, there's a dun dun dun. Me and J53518, no joke, have the same exact birthday, July 13th. That is right. So thank for those of you on, thanks for being here to celebrate our birthdays, for asking us questions. It really means the world to us. And if you guys haven't, and if you guys are new to J5, please check out his channel. Please check out his segment, Anime Chat Mondays, every Monday. Really great stuff. So, and, also, yeah. uh, and sorry to interrupt, Tiger Dude, but check out my Fantasy Wars, where I put anime and other characters together. If you've seen, you know, you know, Wolf Line Fact 101's thing, it's similar, but he does comics. I do anime and anything of the sort. So if you request any new anime, or uh, anime characters to fight, any media characters, video game, anime, any of those, request right away, and I'll get that done. Sorry to yell, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's nothing wrong with that, man. You just have a high energy. We're very enthusiastic. That's, <laughs> it's better than being boring, man. That's how I say. Here's my motto, dude. It's always better to be weird and enthusiastic than to just be plain boring, <laughs> no fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> why are you going? Why are you going all crazy? Sorry. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, man. Bless you. Uh, and if Rose are wondering, I did some voice impression videos early on in my in the year. They're not good, but if you want me to do an impression of a character, I'll hey, um, while we're waiting for some questions, get give them a few of your amazing impressions, man. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. Broly from Dragon Ball Z, I scared the fuck out of this guy earlier. And I swear, this guy was grabbing his trousers, I swear. Kakarot! <laughs> Kakarot! <laughs> cool, uh, How do you cool, feel like uh, that? Cool Eric, cool Eric 258 said, you guys have the same birthday? Why does this not surprise me? <laughs> Uh, cool, Eric. When um, me and J5 have known each other since high school, so and I honestly didn't know until me and him actually talked to each other in college. When he said me and him have the same birthday, I'm like, "What, dude? You're not fuck with me, are you?" And I even said that exactly. He's all like, "Nope, we share the same birthday." And I'm like, "It's all like I share with you." Wait, what the fuck did he ask me? That son of a bitch. No, I remember. I teach you a story there. Uh, who's asking the question? Oh. Um, uh, Cool Eric 258. Cool Eric. Um, very cool, dude. Because then if it is, I can stay saying, Dude, Eric, shut the hell up. Yeah, it's Casey. Casey, birthday? That's a Casey. Sorry, I lost Cartman's voice. Skiggas and gang and. Dude, Skiggas and gang and. But yeah, honestly, it really surprised me, Cool Eric. That was just like, a, that was just like, what? <laughs> Um, Blake TV 101 asked me, did I make my own theme song? Yeah, the theme song, uh, not the ACDC ones I use now. Um, I only use that for my animation domination and part of it for J5's um, anime chat. But the dun 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 dun. Yes, I did make that. And if you're wondering how I made that, I actually used glasses. I would grab like three glasses, a spoon, and it just came out of me because. 
when I first started on my channel, you guys, the thing I said to myself, I need to make myself a new intro, something simple, something unique. So I just grabbed three glasses, grabbed the spoon, and I just came up with whatever for like nine to ten seconds, and boom, that was my 22 Tiger Beat theme song from there. Creativity in the making, people. Give this man a fucking Emmy. Okay, that's an okay. Grammy. I'm sorry. I don't know music anymore. <laughs> no, that's fine. I don't even watch the Grammys, to be honest. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just kidding. That's <laughs> great. Sorry, guys. Oh. I have no if you're wondering, if you guys ask, do I like anime? You fucking hell yeah, I love it. Now, I'm not. I could I admit in my video, Tiger Dude and I helped me make my Weeaboo and Otaku video. Check it out. You might like it. And uh, sorry, I'm breathing hard. Just I've been breathing a lot. Today. I've been running a lot today. But back to what I was saying. Um, oh jeez, I sound terrible. But <laughs> there we go. It's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, in that video, you find out that I'm a otaku. I have, I'm actually a otaku anime, and you know a bit of manga because I've watched anime as a kid, like Dragon Ball Z. I'm not gonna go as much too far because I've told you guys in the past videos. So, if you wanna know? Check out my anime chat videos. There's some new stuff coming up, and you should check it out. Oh yeah, and I just wanna let you guys know the only reason um J Fight Thirty Five One Eight agreed to do this uh, weekly segment called. Uh, anime Chat Mondays with JFA3518. It's because me, you guys, I don't really know anime. I don't have the knowledge that J5 has. And, you know, I want to be able to appeal to the ones that are into anime, that just love anime. So I figured, why not have someone like J5 that knows a lot about anime to come to my channel, have his own segment every Monday? And if you're wondering about Sailor Moon Crystal, yes, I'm going to review the first episode on Anna Chat Monday for you. Then following, I'm going to mix up which one my top 25 fairy tale characters of all time. Yeah. And I'll give you a hint. The top five are amazing. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, I wanna, so I want to know for those watching, I'm curious – any movies you saw in theaters lately that you thought were good, or any movies that you at least saw at home that you thought were good. So if there's any movies that you saw recently, uh, whether it's theater or home, let me let, let me and J5 know. I actually want to know if you guys saw anything good lately. And if you say Transformers is amazing, there will be words. And to quote J5, Daniel DeLewis... remember it's about opinion. I know, but to quote Daniel DeLewis, there will be blood. If you guys like Transformers 4, that's fine. I still have yet to review the movie, actually. I hated the film, personally. I, it's one of the worst films of the year. It's the biggest disappointment of the year for me. I didn't like it. But I can understand why some people do like it. So if you're one of those people that does like Transformers 4, let me know. I actually want to see how many people actually hate Transformers 4 or like Transformers 4. Don't ask me. Watch my review. That's all I gotta say. Like I know, like I know, my subscriber Josh the First really enjoys Transformers Four. So you know what I say? More power to you, Josh. That is fun. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, I'm not against anyone, but sorry. One second, guys. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. Don't worry. I'll get back to your questions. I have a little water break. All right. All right. If you guys have any more questions, of course, just ask me and J53518. Uh, give me a sec, you guys. I want to see if there's more people watching this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I live! Sorry, I ripped off Mulan. I'm sorry. That's the only thing. Did that to me, Murphy? I did better than you. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <clears throat> there you go. I'm back in gear, people. Let's see. What those voices could I do for you guys? Well, we have more questions. You guys think it sounds like Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime? Tell you how many. How many, do you think I can? Oh, uh, hold on. I got a couple of responses about. Transformers 4, let me just click on that. It's all right. Take your time. There's no rush. Hold on. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks to you guys. I can't <coughs> wait to read this. 
It's loading. My computer is a little slow. Well, it's not the computer. I think it's really YouTube, so hold on. That's okay. Okay, um, TV101 says, I recently saw Apes and Transformers, loved Apes, hated Transformers, but I wasn't disappointed. I never liked those films. Ta-da. And then, let's see. And then Cool Eric258 said, haven't seen Transformers 4, but all three have been in that so bad it's good range. Oh, Dude, uh, Cool Eric brought up something cool. He said, I wonder how J5 and Tiger Dude will react if they made a Spongebob anime. Uh, Spongebob anime. You as an anime dude, you can talk about that first. Do you think that would work? <laughs> Are you trying to commit suicide on this live stream? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Cleric says Peter Cullen impression. You can't do that. Um, can you do a Peter Cullen impression? You know, good old Optimus Prime. I'm gonna try without thinking about the SpongeBob anime. <laughs> do the impression real quick, and we'll talk a little <laughs> more about that. <laughs> Autobots, transform and roll out. Okay, I think I'm going to fail at this. Um, okay, um, you, for those watching, Judge Who Does a Bear Optimus Prime Impression. Well, Peter Cullen Impression. Uh, J5 or me? Autobots! Calling Autobots! That's all I got. Autobots! Bumblebee! Transform and roll out. Stop! Put the cube in my chest, Sam! No, Optimus! One shall stand, the other shall fall. Oh, my bad. All right, so back to the SpongeBob anime one. Yeah, I, don't think that, I don't think that could work, to be honest. Think about it. Imagine how SpongeBob uh, would look in anime. He'll be like, I am SpongeBob. I'm ready to go to the Crunchy Crab. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Oh, hi, Mr. Krabs. How are you doing? I'm going to flip the Crab Reddies. Oh, oh, hi. It's a speed racer, damn it. This ain't the sick motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, the speed is great. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you, Cool Egg, for bringing up that. I have never oh. thought about that. Thank you so I'm much. Sorry, you want SpongeBob? Watch Squid Girl. That's the closest you're going to get. <laughs> Watch Squid Girl. If you don't know the theme song I played, the piss off, Jay, Tiger Dude. Shina, 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 mukuras inkanasune, no, tan, 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 I'm going to stop. I'm sorry, guys. I'm alive. Don't worry. It's, just, it's hard sometimes. You guys want to talk like Eric Cartman? All right. So, hey, what do you think of that image of uh, Henry Cavill as Superman in Gotham City for Batman vs. Superman? Have you seen the image, man? Henry Cavill is Batman? No, Henry Cavill is Superman. Did I see Batman? All right, I meant to say there's an image where he is in Gotham City. It looks really cool, man. You should look it at it. It is cool. I've seen it. It is cool. Hmm. But Ben Affleck and him, we got to wait till time. When time comes. <laughs> what are you about? Sorry, guys. Just, I'm not dying. If you're wondering, is this the end of J5? No, I have a hard time breathing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start singing Celine Dion to me, fuckers. I will go after you. I'm ugly on a name. I'll go at you like a spider monkey. To quote <laughs> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh, um, of course we know it's a joke, man. We're just kind of being funny, like imagining what if it was actually true. We know it was a joke, but we we're just making fun of the fact of what if SpongeBob is an anime. <laughs> I would, like That's I what said, what I would just say, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, High School Musical is a manga. Yeah, I'm oh, serious. Gosh. High School Musical is an actual manga. And Zach, Zach Efron looks too fruity. From what I've heard, he looks too fruity. Like Tamaki from Orange High School Host Club. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Let's see here. I'm going to see if there's like any news that came up, because I know there's been a lot of movie news that came up lately, so let's see if there's any we could talk about while we're still waiting on more questions. We all know that Tiger Dude loves the Penguins, and we're going to say it. We're both excited for the Penguins of Madagascar. Hell to the Oh, fun. hell yes, man. I can't wait for Penguins of Madagascar. Hallelujah that for that. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love the trailer. Skipper, he's private. Oh, deck boys. Oh, oh, oh. That was hilarious. Not only that, but you got Smoke in it. You know, Bandit yeah, Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Yeah, also known as Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock. You know, I never, I never have seen Sherlock, so. I saw a little bit. It's not bad. It's actually good. I heard, I hear it's really good. I gotta check it out, man. I know it's only three episodes per season. Like it's literally every couple of years they'll have like first There's season, no. two years later second season, two years later third season. So. Three years later. Are you guys Doctor Who fans? I know this is an awkward question, but are you guys Doctor Whoians? And can you convince me to watch the show? Because I doubt you were ever gonna convince me to watch the Doctor. Yes, can I do an impression of the Doctor? Yes. I need a program that's artists. They go to future powers and space and time. It's a bunch of timey limey gummy cook. That's all I got. I dare you to convince me to watch Doctor Who by the end of this live stream. If you can't... Well, that's if anyone on here has seen Doctor Who. I'm sure they'd have. And tell me, who's your favorite Doctor, actually? Because I want the war to start. I know Karen Gillan from Oculus was in the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. The main redhead of female lead. Man, there's a lot of drunk screaming in my neighborhood. Wait, I might well, get I'm looking up some stuff, uh, J5. Um, you could update on what you plan for your channel if you like oh, while yeah. I'm looking at something. Right, I can even put up a good thing. Sorry I have a little scratch breathing. I'm not, like I said, again, don't go to my funeral. I'm not going to die. I may force myself a bit. But what's coming I'm sure up... they know that, man. <laughs> what's coming up for the good J5 channel, good Tiger Dude ass? Well, here's what's going to learn some secret stuff. I have a video for this guy you're lo I'm talking to right here. To help for his birthday, I'm gonna do a birthday tribute for you, man. Oh, thanks, man. That's my gift from me to you. Well, that's very awesome of you, man. That's I have more really sci-fi movies. Okay, if you guys have been noticing why I've been doing old sci-fi movies like Tarantula or anything like that, it's because I've been doing too much new shit like the Fred movies and Bench Warmers. It's because of nostalgia, you know. Because I used oh, to watch. I know, how, I know how you're with the fucking Fred movies. <laughs> If I see another movie, I'm gonna go burn Hollywood. That's all I guess. Well, they're they're TV movies, so I don't give a flying, I don't give a flipping fuck. I don't give a. Oh, um, Blake, uh, Blake TV 101 asked, asked, excuse me, uh, what's your most, what what are your most anticipated films of 2015? One second, I need research. To uh, the research mobile. Okay, uh, of course. Um, it's a little thing called The Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. I can't wait for The Avengers 2. That I would say that's my most anticipated film 2015 here. I got to look at what is kind of 2015. Yeah, there's Star Wars. I got it, guys. I got it. Okay, guys. Uh, before, yeah, I, have, I have the calendar right now. Yeah, but Avengers 2, I'm excited for it. You want to know mine? Star Wars Episode 7. Yeah, I believe that's, what, that's what that's one of mine. But I think in terms of number one, and maybe Avengers, some something a little better than Avengers might come up. But for now, as it stands, I'm gonna say Avengers: Age of Ultron is my most anticipated. I would agree. I'm interested in Jurassic World. I'm not excited, but I'm interested in seeing where they're gonna go with it. And of course, I love Ted, so I can't wait for Ted too. What about you know? Oh, God. I'm not excited for February 13th, people. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, I don't want to see that in my theaters. Get that. Uh, Bla uh, Blake TV 101 said, I never gone to Doctor Who. My friends like it, but it's not for me. It's all right. What do you think of my impression of the Doctor? If it sucks, good for you. I'm not a good voice actor. 
If you want me to voice an voices, anime, man. You do you very good voices. Voice, if you want me to voice an anime character, you can say whatever. I will try to do female because I have to hit myself in the nuts to get higher. Ew. Um, SpongeBob, sponge out of water. No, no. Oh, uh, please, please do not bring oh. that up. Now, Jupiter. I know, I, know I, got, I know I got a lot of comments saying that I was a little too harsh. Yeah, maybe I was, but that still doesn't excuse the fact that it's gonna be su it's gonna be three D in some scenes. Uh, some of the comments helped me a little because in my video when I made it, I wasn't sure if some of it was gonna be in two D and some of it in three D, but it was confirmed in the comments that for the most part it will be in traditional uh, 2D, which makes me feel better. But the fact that when SpongeBob goes <laughs> out in CGI, it doesn't make sense. Because look, dude, yes, they go out to an airline in the first SpongeBob movie, but they're still traditional. Why make them CGI when he goes up in the air? That's like a little inconsistent with the first SpongeBob movie, in my opinion. Ugh. Oh, God. Of it's course, as a, as a SpongeBob fan, I'll give it a chance. I will review it because I do love to give films chances, wh whether I'm interested or not. But as for right now, unless I see a trailer that will convince me that it will be good, for now, I, I just really am not looking forward to it. Some movies that I'm interested in. Now, you guys can say boo or no. Ted 2. Yes. Assassin's yeah. Creed. Okay, I play Assassin's Creed games. I doubt they'll do a good job, but I'm interested. The Minion movie. Um, the Fantastic Let's see. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not done yet. Um, Goosebumps. Yeah, you didn't know this. That oh, I think for Minions, I was gonna for Minions, I was gonna say I like the first Despicable Me, but the second was a disappointment. <laughs> but a Minion, but a Minion movie with me, dude. I don't know if it would work as a standalone. Like for the Penguins, I think it will work. But for Minions, I'm not so sure to be honest. I would agree with you there. More people. Um, Hotel Transylvania 2. Yeah. Funny thing I found out for myself. I don't think how it would go. That's all I gotta say. I don't know the plot. Then again, what am I thinking? I haven't seen the trailer yet. I just answered my own goddamn question. Yeah. The Peanuts movie. Yes. Oh, yes. 100%. Yes. Count me in. Hurry up. Yeah, I'm pissed off again because there's a Chipmunks 4. Fuck! My, quick thoughts, on, my quick thoughts on all three films. I like the first one. Second one's eh. And third one, <laughs> really hated it. A decent first one. Other ones, hate. Hate. And then Sorry. David Cross apparently isn't returning because of the issues he had with the director about the third film, so. True. Kung Fu Panda 3. Yes. <clears throat> it's going by fast, man. Like, the second one was 2011. After that cliffhanger and hearing about it released in 2016, originally it was going to come out in 2016, but now it delayed a little earlier to late 2015. So it's all like before you know it, we'll finally see the third one, how it continues. So I'm, I'm really excited. Sorry to interrupt. There's other movies like Frankenstein, I don't know, James Bond, new movie. Obviously going to see it. <clears throat> oh, obviously. I'm excited for that too. As in Furious 7, I quit. I'm sorry. I quit. I, I'm really interested, to be honest, man. I quit. Why do you quit exactly? Uh, I will tell you later in another video. No really, no, really, dude. I want to know why do you why do you quit on the Fast and Furious Seven? Six was good. They're just killing the franchise. It's over. Well, is it because of the Paul Walker thing? Is that maybe why? Kinda, but then again, how could you follow up with Paul Walker? That's the question I gotta ask. I mean, you know? ever since Fast and Furious Five, man, Fast Five. That's when I really got into the franchise, and I've been really enjoying what they've been doing to the franchise six uh, so far. So, Hobart Mall Cop Two. Why the fuck? Ugh. Um, I did not even know there was going to be a sequel. Yeah, it just says on the calendar, March twenty fifteen. Uh, 
I Paul Bart. It made me laugh. I thought it was a pretty funny movie. Yeah. But a sequel, yeah, a sequel I'm not aware of, though. And, um, yeah, I'm just not... I don't know. I don't think a sequel should be made. Jupiter Ascending and Poltergeist Remake. Oh, yeah. That's the movie that was supposed to come out sometime this month, but it got delayed to February 2015. Now. Bastards. Anyway, moving on. I'm sorry. But I gotta agree with you on Poltergeist. Why the fuck do you want to remake a great horror movie? And it's a dark family movie. Yeah. Why? Why? Very. Yeah, we're just while we're talking, bring on some more questions. We're all yeah. here to answer. The both of us are here to answer questions. So. Snow White and the Husband Two. Skip. Ratchet and Clank. Hell yes. I'm a fan of the video games. Bring it on. No. I heard there's going to be a standalone Huntsman movie. I haven't heard anything about a Snow White 2, though. All right. Because, you know, the Bo issues with Kristen Stewart and the director, so. All right, I know, I know. You told me earlier. Woman in Black, Angels of Death. Skip it. I didn't like the first one. Skip it. I haven't seen The Woman in Black, but I heard from some people it's a pretty good movie. I didn't like it. It was just... It it, it, I, it was dumb to me. I mean, I like Daniel Radcliffe. Come on, he's Harry Potter. And, you know, uh, you know. Yeah. And, and, hey, it, um, uh, Blake TV 101 said that um, my most anticipated film is Sharknado 2, the second one. <laughs> can, I have, can I scream at him for a little bit? No offense, man, but no. why? Remember, it's about opinion, man. And look, I can understand, look, if you, I reviewed Sharknado as part of my Halloween month extravaganza last year. Go check it out, you guys. Yes. Terrible film? Oh, fuck yes. Extremely terrible. But did it entertain me? Was I laughing at, at how horrendous it is? Yes. So I'm not going to lie. I was entertained by it. I gave it two and a half out of four stars in my review. It's a guilty pleasure, so... <laughs> J5, um, your opinion on it? Remember, opinion, opinion, calm down. I agree. I did, wasn't laughing. You know what I was thinking about? I was crying in front of my poster of Jaws. I was hugging my Jaws snuffy, goddammit, when I was watching that. <laughs> I, was hugging the po the, I was hugging the Jaws DVD in my hand. I was crying. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, one more thing. Con. Sorry. Sorry, wrong movie, but I wanted to be funny. <laughs> uh, what can we say more about Hitman Reborn? Why well, is an anime? What am I talking about? Hitman. Uh, it's just a normal movie. Um, what do you think about Magneto playing um, uh, Assassin's Creed next year? Ezio. What was that? Because I'm looking at the questions. That's why I started. I know. I'm sorry. This is the 2015 Assassin's Creed movie. How do you feel? Well, um, I don't know. To be honest, isn't that based off of a video game? Correct. It's based on a. It's a game. It's a video game. Yeah. Well, I the haven't long... played the video game personally, so I oh, can't really cool. judge. I guess I hope it's entertaining. Yeah. That's all I can really say for it. All I can say is it might be like Mortal Kombat. It follows the story, but it's so bad it's good. Yeah. Then again, I'm the same guy who hey, we all hate the Super Mario Brothers movie. There's got to be at least no anybody who actually likes that movie. I know a couple of friends that think it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I think Mortal Kombat's a guilty pleasure, and I'd say I find Street Fighter because Raul Julia is so fucking awesome. Of course, sorry I had to do that. And Drunk Club Van Damme because he's so bland and so funny, it makes me cry tears. Okay, I'll knock you down first, and I'll punch you. Now it's in Expendables 2, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's that like John be, Blood. That fight be. between him and Sylvester Stallone in the second Expendables should have been longer, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. You have, uh, what's it called? Burning Fury versus Rocky Balboa. You can't beat the boxer, goddammit. <laughs> I wanted to try. I wanted Dolph Lundgren to beat him up because I've seen Universal Soldier, if you know the joke. I wanted him to kill him like a fucking Universal Soldier. God damn it. 
Yeah. That would have been awesome. It's like a reunion fight, like a Universal Soldier. If you guys know what that movie is, just look it up. La 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 la. What, what was I doing? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, there's a pineapple under the tree. Wait, what Sponge the fuck Bob Squarepants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, by the way, you said you said tree, not C. <laughs> Oh, there's a pineapple, there's a pineapple under, the under the tree. What the hell, man? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Watch out, but no, Caesar. Caesar, the jungle as strong as he can be. Ah! Watch out for the tree. George, George, George of the jungle. What's a fucking lawsuit? Ding. Hey, dude. Uh, without spoiling anything for me, since I'm not seeing Don the Planet Apes until in the morning, um. The flick pick uh, he brought up on Facebook that it it was sort of reminiscent to the Lion King. Do you think it kind of reminiscent to the Lion King without spoiling anything? Well, the idea of the apes to the apes of the humans. I have no idea how he came up with Lion King, but I guess the son and the father aspect. Little, but to me, no. It's a different movie. Oh, okay. Now, Frozen is like Lion King, which Twitter has been telling me so damn long. Then yes. By the way, if you guys haven't uh, seen the Flick Picks uh, channel, check it yeah. out. Hilarious dude. He's yeah. He his, he has a his videos. Yeah, they aren't your ordinary videos. That's all I'm gonna say. But check that out his humor. channel. It's amazing. John, John Flickster is his vlog channel, and the Flick Pick is his channel where he reviews movies and his. Uh, Blu ray updates. And you so watch his top hottest Disney princesses. Woo! Get ready for a freaking. Uh, top, ho top hottest Disney princesses. That video got a little too okay. <laughs> Woo! Arriba! I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine, dude. We're three caballeros. We're three caballeros. They say we are birds of a feather. But they happy choppies with matching serapis. But one, two, and three goes, we're always together. All right, let's see if there's any more yeah, questions. I say so. I drink some sangrio because I'm pendejo. Ay, Alice, color de la vez. The sun of the alma. What are you singing, man? The three caballeros, man. Disney. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Blake TV, for saving the singing. Please, no more singing, man. Thank you, Blake TV, for saving me here. Thank um, Blake TV, Blake TV 101. It's not a question, but it's about the whole Sharknado thing from earlier. He says. Oh he says, this is embarrassing, but I actually have a Sharknado poster in my room. Calm down, J5. I think that film's hilarious. Yeah, it's awful, but it's funny as hell. That's the point. I think it was supposed to be a joke film. And that's obviously what the creators were going for. The creators, they, they knew that it was going to be bad. Hell, the dad from Home Alone is in that fucking atrocity, man. How do you get the dad from Home Alone in Sharknado? John Hurd, what the hell happened, man? <laughs> John Hurt, the funniest voice you ever heard. John Hurt, the voice of the Black Horned King. John yeah. Hurt. Oh there's yes. There's no way that there's no way the creators of Sharknado are gonna be all like, oh my gosh, dude, this is gonna be the greatest work in the piece of cinema. It's gonna give us Oscars. I doubt any of the creators were like that making this film. <laughs> we all know the actress in the movie. I'm not gonna say her name. Tara Reid. Hey, if this movie, hey, this movie is so popular because it's bad, man. It's 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 known for being so bad, it's good. You have to give this movie credit for being so popular like because of how about, atrocious it is. Please, what they said about American Reunion, I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> uh, what else? Look at this. I'm gonna stop right there. Remember, you guys, ask us plenty of questions as you like. We are still waiting on some more questions. It's karaoke night. Just a small town girl. 
Living, Living in a, a lonely world. world. She took the midnight train going handy. Okay, I think they want to hear us singing Journey. Just the, the snow goes right on the... <laughs> Let it go. Oh my God. Yeah, this birthday live stream has gained a little weird now. <laughs> Let it go. Can't hold my breath anymore. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, please ask questions before J5 goes more bananas. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought my jokes were bad. He, ah, oh, oh, he, ah. oh, oh, ah, oh, ah. It's like running, and you know, if you package it, it's chaos theory. Sorry, I don't want Joe Gilboom on your ass. <laughs> oh, better yet, can I sound like this? Oh, gosh, should I talk like bears for the birthday celebration? <laughs> Got them. Hey, uh, let's have a, let's have a main impression. Let's see, uh, for those watching, they could tell us. Okay, you guys, who does a better and Bane impression, me or J5? J5, you could go first. You go first, man. Gotham Shrugging. You don't fear death. You welcome it. I've. Def oh, is it? Let's see. What was it? You fall like a younger man. Admirable? Get wasted. Oh, yes! I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit? Or oh, your body? Yes, the bomb is armed, the bomb is mobile, and the identity of the trigger man remains a <laughs> Got them reckoning. A fire will rise, Mr. Wayne. Okay. Can I do mine now? Yes, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Want to make sure they hear me. Hello, <clears throat> ah. Got them. This is Brian here. I'm here to defeat Gotham City and destroy the Batman. Well, not destroy Gotham City, but just to show you that I'm very bitch. I'm a very, very bitch. And I'm here to destroy Batman and grab Catwoman. Yes, this is Brian over here. This is Gotham City. So have a pleasant day. <laughs> You're pretty good, but I was... Yeah, well, let them decide I want to yeah. be the very best Bane that ever was. To put on the mask inside and breathe the drum first. Pokemon got a brain no more. Because what I'm sitting much for. You teach me and I teach you with the Pokemon. Batman got to catch a ball. Pokemon, yes. Hello, people, baby. Yeah. All right, let's see. Again. Oh, I got a little. I got a little question here. It's not letting me open up though. Okay. Um. Let's see. For you or me? Okay. Um. Uh, Blake TV one hundred and one asks best films of this year. Uh, one would be uh for Blake. It's Captain America's one, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes two, and Godzilla number three. And for worst films of the year. It's um, Transformers 4, Nut Job, right. and God's Not Dead. God's Not Dead 3, Nut Job 2, and Transformers 4 1. Four yes. Four, one, one. Yes. Not seeing Kevin Starble slash Hercules in a suit. All right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I fucking love Godzilla. Hell, I yeah. defended the movie. Check out my J5 Defends Godzilla video. Yeah. yeah, he loved Godzilla so much, he actually yeah. made a Defending Godzilla video. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I would say on Blake's list, I I haven't I seen agree. I'm not I don't see Don the Pony Apes until in the morning, but I'm sure according to the buzz, I'll enjoy the film at least. As for Captain America, I love that film. I could see why, and I loved Godzilla, so I could definitely understand why. Transformers Four for her for Blake's oh. worst, his worst. Um, it's number one. And um, it's not the worst film I've seen uh, so far. I still got to think about that, but it's definitely one of the worst. Nut Job, I totally disagree. God's Not Dead, uh, no, Nut Job, I totally agree. Sorry, uh, I hated the Nut Job. 
And for uh, God's Not uh, Dead, I uh, I respectfully disagree. Uh, Blake, I'm sorry you didn't like the movie. But I personally really liked it, though. I found the movie to be very moving, and it did speak some truth about uh, faith. So it, it really hit me. I really liked God's Not Dead personally, but I'm well, sorry was... that you didn't like it, Blake. I respect your opinion, though. Blake, you're the man. I think everything I said wrong about you. Your list for worst and best, kick ass. Well, remember, dude, whether opinions are different or the same, you should still respect one's opinion, though. You know what I mean? All right. I, it's not ogre till I say it, ogre. <laughs> it's, all, it's all like, would you hate me if the Smurfs 2 was my favorite film of all time? You know me. So much. Your ass will be grass. <laughs> How dare you like Brendan Gleeson as a naked goose? I don't want to see some Brendan <laughs> Long. God damn. I've seen worse geese than Mr. Bean. God damn it. Smurfs, oh, yeah. 2, is a, Smurfs 2 is an atrocity. In, in case you guys didn't catch that, I was being sarcastic. I hate Smurfs uh, 2. One of my worst films of uh, last year, 2013. So. I'm so sorry. I get mad people. It's just I try to. Right. One second. Any unplug this. Oh, oh, hey, dude. Uh, we have our answers for the bane. Okay, Larry Horder said, "20 to Tiger Dude, better bane by far." Sorry, J5 and Blake TV 101 said, "Tiger Dude won the bane." Sorry, J5. All right, so the winner of the bang contest is me. Woohoo! You won <laughs> this time, Batman, but not yet. And I'm a pussy. Yes. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round. Yes. You better shut up, Bane, because I'm obviously a better Bane than you are. <laughs> Can you? Okay. Move on to Optimus Prime. It better be me, god damn it. You sound like the... De okay. I got another voice impression for you. Can you do Vegeta? Now, uh, <laughs> Kessa Vulu Nadi uh, Naidu. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, by the way. Asked, uh, how can we see this? Um, uh, can you tell me what you mean by that, Kessa Vulu, please? I have an answer. Do what SpongeBob taught us. Yes, imagination. <laughs> imagination. <laughs> if you know what I did, it's from an anime called Hajinai. If you got that, good for you. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you feeling about this live stream, man? Are you having fun so far? Yes! Yeah. Wow, that's so gay right there. I'm so I don't mean man. Uh, ironically, you're you pr you're pretty much on my channel all the time, man. And it's all like not only have we been friends since high school, but we have the same birthday. Like, wow. <laughs> to quote Will Will Smith once in a while. Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured a live stream would be a nice way to celebrate our birthdays, and so far I'm having a really great birthday thanks to. Those that are watching this, I this wouldn't be possible without you guys. So those that are actually uh, staying tuned, uh, celebrating our birthdays, thank you so much. And for those that are watching, if your birthday is today on July 13th, just like me and J5, then happy birthday to all the July 13th, and just happy Let's birthday to all the Julys in general. Round of applause to the birthday of July 13th. No, me, God, fuck you, people. <laughs> All right, let's see if any more questions come up. Any more questions come up? I'll sing the chipmunks or something random. What am I going to sing? Damn it. Iki wa keku keru, aku 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 neka, nahi ni tu nashimu, ni shikawa ta, oshimo sekai ga, ni go. Nobody wants Tengen, Tompen, Gurren Lagan. I'll dare you. I'm going to stop because you guys are not 
focusing on this. All right. Can I sing DuckTales? Fine, then. Um, just a little bit of it. Go ahead. <laughs> Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Quack, Raiders. Lasers. Damn it, I forgot. I forgot the... Fuck the lyrics. <laughs> it just bought his airplanes. It's a duck bird. Might solve a mystery. Hurry, my history. Ducktails. Woo hoo. Every day they're out there making ducktails. Woo hoo. Tales of daring, do bad, and good luck tales. Yeah, <laughs> good singing right there, J5. Behind you, there's a stranger out to rape you. What? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if someone makes me sing the themes on the center moon, I'll do it for you because I'm being happy right now. Right. Was there anything you wanted to talk about, man? Anything you wanted to bring up? Oh, yes. For those of you wondering if Korea is going to kill us in October, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, there's been news about, because of that new Seth Rogen and James Franco film, The Interview, Korea is threatening to have war, which um, I don't think is possible, but you just never know how things would go, you know? Well, but, ever but I might take what J5 said. I don't think it will happen. But what do you think, J5? Recently, like I showed the article last time a couple times, a couple Skype calls ago, the yeah. reason they, had a, they recently had... I think it was like, what is it, two weeks ago, man? Two weeks ago, three weeks ago? They had an article saying that they were not attackers. It was a misuse of print. And that, yeah. that, that Chinese ambassador guy was the slanderer. They will face some prices for the production team to pay fees, obviously, for illegally shooting there. But hey, what you going to do? Look at Michael Bay. China's burning a hole in his pockets. Ha-ha! Yeah. <laughs> Bastard. Oh, yes. I don't like the Dinobots the way they look. That's all I got to say. All right. Sorry, I get to the... Um, in terms of uh, God's Not Dead, uh, Lake TV uh, was just, just explaining the reasons why. I don't want to say it aloud, but I just want to say um, I could totally understand uh, Blake because of those reasons, so I do uh, totally respect uh, what you are and your own opinion. So it's always nice when we could discuss interesting stuff like this, man. Yeah. If you guys, for those of you who wanted to join me for an anime review, you can. Don't be scared or peckish, people. I'm not a dog. I don't bite. Wait, what do you think? Wolf. I think I'm done. But yes, I don't bite. I'm not a, I'm not a lecher. I'm not someone who's evil. Come on. How do I think I know Tiger Dude, man? Would I be a piece of crap talking to him? No. Because I know the man. He's creative. I love his channel. I love the thing he does. Him and Serrano Reyes are the funniest motherfuckers I've seen. They're more funnier than Game Dude. I'm sorry, hey, bringing up. Don't, don't leave out one young Swig Five. He joins in from Young's time Swag to time. Two. JW Universe. Okay, let me do a shout out for you all. JW Universe, the Smosh. I mean, all of you guys. I mean, Alex Haskell, Preston, all of you guys. Um, Jeremy Johns, all of you guys that subscribe to. Congratulations. Keep doing what you do. I'm inspired by you guys. I watch you guys every day, and I'm glad you guys help us make YouTube become YouTubers. So, yeah, you're, you're you're very creative too, man. You come up with a lot of good stuff on your channel. Hey guys, please if you haven't checked out his channel, please check it out because this man not only does he just love movies, but he loves anime. He loves talking about anime and movies. Games, he has his segment called Fantasy Wars. I even joined him on a couple of Fantasy Wars, like. I joined him on Sly Cooper versus James Bond. And Luffy versus Bo 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 Bo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, yes, that's true. That was interesting. I have <clears throat> another one up that's probably going to make you guys squeal thinking, what the hell? I might do either Kazuya versus Ryu or because... Um, Actually, I did the four ninjas versus knights. You can check out that video. Oh, for those of you wondering why I'm doing Google Google vid, image fan wars, because I love to piss off trolls, and because I want to give people the attention. See, all of you guys at DeviantArt, I can sometimes sympathize with you. There's fantasy wars that no one does for you, and I have to be the Batman. <clears throat> I'm sorry. 
the Batman to help your battles become one. He's not the hero the city wants, but I am what the city needs. I'm Batman. <laughs> Sorry. Impressive job, man, I must say. Where are the drugs, Heidi? Where are the drugs? Where is the trigger? There's no secret pe- <laughs> Sorry. Rachel! I don't have lung cancer. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love the Christian Bale boys. It's so troll worthy. Oh, question for you guys. If you could be any anime character, male or female, I don't care if you're a dude and you like to be a chick, and vice versa. Who would you be? Which, okay, better. Which five characters, male or female, from any shoujo shonen would you be for a day? You don't have to tell me which. I mean, you don't have to, obviously you've got to tell me which, but you don't have to tell me explaining because I don't want to have some of your weird fantasies come to this birthday celebration. We're all good adults. We don't, we, we, we don't watch porn. Okay, maybe some of you guys out there do, but, you know, let's just keep this wholesome. Thank you. Sorry, man. I'm trying to look up some movie news that maybe we could talk about while questions are still coming in. Oh, yes. You guys want to hear me talk like Christopher Walken? Yeah, keep the questions coming, you guys. Um, me and Jay were having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, so, yeah, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yes, keep the questions coming. Or shut your pie holes. Because Christopher Walken. And please yeah. ask him ASAP before he gets more weirder. <laughs> yeah, you better ask him ASAP because I don't think my mind is here anymore. Um, I think I left that sure you door. didn't drink something before we started this live stream, man? <laughs> it is true. I did a little. I, mean, I drank a little bit of alcohol. A little bit. A and little I, bit? Like a little, little bit? <laughs> hey, little is enough. I'm glad I'm not drunk. <laughs> it's got Red's Apple Ale. If you haven't tried it, check it out. It's awesome. Anyway, I'm not supporting drinking. What is wrong with me? We're here to talk about our birthdays, Diamond. Celebrate mm-hmm. why we're born and how we're born. Why am I asking? Well, that? I'm sure they know how they're born. We don't have to go into details. You see, kitties, what a mommy. So, uh, for those that are, uh, that are like 10 and under, let's talk about the birds and the bees. No. We're not going to do that. We're not going to get in that territory. No, we're just, I'm just kidding with that. I'm just kidding with that, you guys. Please stay around. I don't want to lose anyone. <laughs> hey, kids, you see the donut? You see the pretzel? And they're uh, 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 uh. Don't stop. Oh, yeah, if you guys are wondering about my reviews of the sci-fi movies and videos of the Condor, check it out. <clears throat> oh, um, uh, it's raining blood. Hey, uh, it is raining blood. Thanks for joining. He All said, right. so does this have nothing to do with the Q&A questions we posted last month? Oh, yeah. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm going to have a QA. and a I'm going to assume a week or two weeks from now. I uh, made a video last month in the beginning of June. Um, oh, wait, like point of me. Um, saying uh, I'm going to have a Q&A somewhere in July. So please ask me questions. No, uh, this isn't it, though. This this birthday live stream is for me and J5 to celebrate birthdays answering questions. So this is a live Q&A, but the Q&A where I just answer the question solo, no, this is not part of it. It, it is raining blood. Feel free to ask me questions, but the, the one for the June one, I'm answering those soon or solo. So my Q&A will come up soon, but this is just a live stream. It's raining blood. But feel free to ask some questions, man. I know you told me you have like 250 questions, so this is the perfect time to ask away, man. Just ask away. Let it out of the Mexican cannon. Okay, let's not go that far, man. <laughs> you got the joke. Thank you. But anyway, for those of you wondering about my Q&A, start sending questions. I'm still trying to set up a q and I'm hoping next week. That's it. I've been trying really hard to set up a and a but I haven't got questions. I understand I'm not a picky little bastard, but, you know, it's you know I'm trying my best here. But uh, you know. Of course, man. When we have our own channels and we try to get somewhere, it is hard. Like 2012, man. Hey, uh, speaking of that, um, by July 27th, it'll be officially two years since I've started my channel. 
But, I mean, when I started my channel, man, yeah, it, it did start off slow for me to get subscribers. And last year, it was uh, starting to pick up, but it wasn't quite there yet. This year, man, is where I'm starting to pick up on more subscribers. And for those that are new to this channel, thank you so much. You have no idea how much I really appreciate that. Um, I wouldn't be making this channel. I wouldn't be making videos for this channel right now if it weren't for you guys. I, I really wouldn't be here. So your support, your comments, your views, everything you guys do is always so great. So thank you so much. What about me? <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, Blake TV said, if I could be any anime, I would want to be the fat Pokemon. I said pick three. You mean Snorlax? <laughs> All right. Good for you. I don't call you fat, but I'm just saying it's an interesting choice. Yeah. I would be both male and female characters. Don't call me a faggot and don't call me gay. I just have my imagination. My Here, imagination. Hold on, Blake said something else. It's just getting a little slow right now. Like I uh, said, choose see. five. That's your first one. Keep going. I would be Goku, Lelouch. Uh, I'm going to choose a female one. Aaron Yeager, Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Uh, Edward O'Rourke, obviously. And one of them I'm going to make is... Oh, uh, shit. The last one's going to be interesting. Uh, oh, um, uh, uh, Blake yeah, TV, uh, Blake TV 101 me. complimented us. Um, uh, let's see. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Not to me. Okay, now I got it. Um, Blake TV said, I subbed to you guys in, like, 2012, I think. I remember debating Tiger Dude about That's My Boy. I thought it was stupidly funny at times. Tiger Dude said it was worse than Jack and Jill. I think I said the J5 when you did some top five lists together. You guys are both funny, and you make great reviews. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank well, you. Thanks that's a lot, Blake TV. Coming from you, you that, that really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I got, I got a question from It Is Raining Blood. Do you have any brothers and or sisters? I only have one brother, and... Uh, he's actually been in a few of my videos. He's referred as Super J420. Not going to review the real name, but Super <laughs> J420. He's my brother. You could see him in my American Dad review. And um, we did a vlog where me, him, and my best buddy, Saran Reyes J, we did a walkout together. Oh, my 400th video. Him and my buddy, they they usually Earth. shot BB guns. Check out my 400 <laughs> video. So. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good stuff there. What about you, J5? Any brothers and sisters? Uh, I feel bad for you and Julio because I saw you guys dodged the rock, Julio. I'm trying, bro. He can shoot. Ah, <laughs> that was awesome. I don't want to tell you about my step family. I have step family, my step brother, but my brothers. I am the second one in the family. My name's Jacob. You know, my real name is Jacob, J5. Oh, yeah. You know. My little brother Gabriel is a Texas Tech, and AJ is the oldest. He was born in 1988, I was born in 91, and Gabriel's 93. So I'm the second brother. I'm the nerd. I'm the <laughs> my little cuckoo, and I'm, you know, the isolated. Okay. Brother. Another question from It Is Raining Blood. Do you believe in Bigfoot and happy birthday, guys? Well, for one, before we answer that, thank you so much, It Is Raining Blood. Thank you Thank for you. celebrating our birthday with us. And second, do you believe in Bigfoot? Um, I'll leave this to you first, J5. No. Hmm. That's it. No. Um, I want to say no, but I want to say yes. The reason I say yes is because I forgot what show it was, but there was apparently a show where they saw some evidence that Bigfoot is actually real. So I'm going to have to say I'm mixed at that. I want to say no. I want to say yes. So I'm kind of in the middle. Are you sure it's Camp Laszlo or was it Brickleberry? <laughs> <laughs> Brickleberry! Ah. Um, Sine Weeks, yeah, it is a live. I just finished checking right now. The Google Plus says it's live. And yes, people, when I said Natsu and Mita Jane, that means I can change into whoever. Have fire powers or be a demon. Charles knows which. I mean, Tiger Dude knows the character I'm talking about. Yeah. What are you talking about exactly? <laughs> Fairy tale, the anime, 
Natsu, Urza, Luce. No, I no, I'm just joking with you, man. Oh, that's all right. I know, I know. When we Skype, you talk to me about fairy tale a lot. In Is fact, I know, I know. Um, without spoiling anything, you have an upcoming anime chat Monday's episode about fairy tales. <laughs> yes, check it out. Top twenty-five, and I'm gonna do top ten male female characters. Yeah. Tomorrow, as well as the guys. You can't have I will, one. That, I'll be on Anime Chat Mondays in the next few weeks. In the next few weeks, you'll see a top 25 fairy tale characters as part of Anime Chat Mondays on this channel from J5. And also, Sailor Moon Crystal Episode 1 review, because you know what? I'm giving things a chance more. Take that, Fred. Yeah. That's, all right. That's all I can say. Uh, I feel good. I just, it feels like a large burden on my shoulders has been lifted. Yeah. <laughs> And if someone says, if I want to ever voice act for Funimation, yes, I would. That'd be kind of a dream come true for me. But you know, okay. Um, make- uh, it is raining blood. Ask us, do you like the Beatles? I fucking love the Beatles, man. It's yeah. Been a hot like days now. I do like the Beatles when I hear it once in a while. I love to hear a good Beatles tune. I'm not a big fan of them. But you know it's good to hear some good old classic Beatles tunes in a while. She loves you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then I he know. also asks, do you like Led Zeppelin? Fuck yeah, dude. Stairway to Heaven, best song ever. Yeah. I listen to Led Zeppelin sometimes, but when I do, I, I really enjoy it personally. I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest diehard fan, but I do really enjoy it when I do yeah, listen to it. I love the music. Now, am I a big Metallica fan? Yes. Look at my review for Metallica than ever. You'll know why. Oh, yeah. I still have to see that one, to be honest. I really enjoy Metallica. No. I just haven't seen through the never. Oh. And speaking of that, I was actually, I, I did actually have a screening for Metallica through the, never, through the never back in September of last year, but I had something else going on, so I had to miss my screening for it. Hey, but otherwise, if I showed up for it, I would have seen the movie by now. I'll play some classic Metallica. You guys want to hear some? Oh, remember, dude, uh, copyright on YouTube, so make sure you play it at that 10 second mark. 10 seconds, all right. Yeah. All right, I know. You know YouTube and their copyright rules. Those dangy dang bastards. I'm still getting used to the new features they have, by the way, man. Like, Jesus. Give me food, give me fire. Please sing it. Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Um, I think they could barely hear it. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I can play. You guys want to hear it again? I'll do it at 10 seconds. All right. Oh, uh, Lake uh, TV asked another question, man. Go ahead. Okay, um, Blake asked, um, hold on. What is the golden age of the Simpsons? For me, it's seasons 4 through 14, roughly. I still like the show, but it's just not the same. My what do you think on that? Three, season 2 to the end of season 3. And the 90s stuff, 4 to 5. From yeah. episode, season 2 to 5 were great. After that, I stopped. Really? I, after season, really after two seasons, man? From season I know two. For, I know for a lot of people, five. it's like at eight seasons, and then it went downhill for them. Season two to five, maybe six. Yeah. I, I didn't watch much Simpsons when season seven came out. Okay. Well, um, if you guys watch my Animation Domination reviews, it's, it's, a, it's a reviews where I review new episodes of The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, and Bob's Burgers. <laughs> and um, I still love The Simpsons personally, so to me... Um, I could I could see what you mean by that, Blake. But to be honest, I still think the Simpsons are the same. I still feel like the quality is the same. The characters are the same. You know, like Homer is still the same Homer in the earlier seasons, except maybe slightly more dumber. I'll give it that. But he's still Homer. Bart is still the same troublemaking rebel. Lisa's still the smarty. Marge is also hey. Marge. So smarty, get that Millhouse. Like Lisa. Uh, can I play with Bart? No. <clears throat> you know, when, when shows wow. run on for too long, man, their personalities change. But for me, the Simpsons' personalities never did change. And I still feel like even though they're going on 25 seasons, season 26 is going to begin this fall, 
I still feel like the characters are fresh. I feel like the writers, uh, they still try their best to accomplish something new. Yes, they recycle once in a while, but for the most part, something new. Like, for example, dude, the Lego Simpsons movie, one mm -hmm. of the best episodes I've seen ever. Like, you, I know you loved it too, man, for you not watching the show that much. Yeah. I did. Mama Mia. <laughs> Time playing Mario Brothers, guys. Yeah, I just I, – I love The Simpsons still to this day. So for me, there really is no golden age. I love The Simpsons back then as a kid. I you still love it now. now. Yeah. If you guys hear, I'm playing Mario Brothers, the original. It's great. All right. Um, it is raining blood asks um, – <clears throat> oh, man, what is it with me saying that word? Um, what do you think – what do you think I look like? You just look like a ghost face from the Scream movies. That's all. Uh, you look like the person that... Well, that's because he is actually wearing the Scream face. I know, so. he is ghost face. Ghost face killer, he ain't. Yeah. But, uh, He's climbing in the windows, snatching the people up, trying to rape them, trying to end, trying to hide, trying to rape them, trying to hide. <laughs> yeah, go kill the nearest um, Care Bear fan. Thank you. You did that, bro. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so far, we're trucking along, man. We're trucking along. We're trucking along. <clears throat> Trucking along, man. You gotta truck along, buckaroo. You gotta motherfucker. Sorry to interrupt, but guys, I'm gonna play a couple seconds of music while I'm out here. It's because I can allow it for YouTube. Ten seconds only. All right. You guys cool with it? Okay. Uh, and then uh, Blake, in response to The Simpsons, said, "Yeah, people over exaggerated the drop in quality on that show." Yeah, I, I could totally agree, Blake, because, yeah, look, let's look at Family Guy. I still enjoy the show, but I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. Obviously, you could see that the characters have changed for the worse. Lois, she's yeah. well, a bitch. She's a bitch now. And um, Brian, you know, he's – I still – I enjoy Brian, don't get me wrong, and I'm glad he's still on the show. But, um, you know, he still has his, like, religious beliefs and – they just they do go a little too far sometimes. Chris so. has become dumber, and Meg has become more of a bigger tool. And Stewie is not getting a name. Well, people really watched Family Guy for Brian and Stewie for the most part. Well, that's all right. But that's good. I mean, I understand. I mean, I, I, mean, I think Joe is really the only few characters that hasn't really changed in terms of personality, honestly. Uh, and, then Stewie, you know, he, and then Stewie, he used to want to rule t uh, rule the world, but now I'm Stewie, killing. he's just being lazy and he's gay. He even mentioned in one episode that he's lazy and doesn't do that stuff anymore, so. Hey, hey, wait, wait, <laughs> yeah. what about Cleveland so, Brown? Yeah, I agree. Like, uh, I do agree. They do over-exaggerate the drop-in quality. I still love The Simpsons, so. but of course, that's just my opinion. It, it is rain blood. Oh, I do not. It is rain blood. Asked favorite food. Mine's KFC. Fuck. There's a here, lot that I uh, like. here I'll, I'll say mine first. <clears throat> well, for my birthday, I'm gonna go eat out at Red Lobster. I love that place. Really expensive. Don't re don't go to Red Lobster that often, but. Yeah. If I have to go to the one that's more cheaper, it's Applebee's. I, I have to say Applebee's is my number one, and Red Lobster would be second. Or, you know what, fuck it. They're both equal. Let's just go with that. But, yeah, I really love Applebee's. I think they have really good food there, Red Lobster as well. So I would say those are my top favorite restaurants to get food from there. What about you, man? I have no top five because I love a lot of things. I'm going to skip that one. What I am going to do for my birthday is I have so many questions, so many choices. Well, I mean, there a certain place you like to get food from, even if it's a quick, fast food one, you know? Uh, but it's anything, man. doesn't matter where I am because you all know I'm not at my home base now. I'm spending time. For those of you wondering, I'm spending vacation with my with my you know, relatives. Just like your favorite right. food, like what's your favorite place to get food from? Anything, man. Okay, Just I'll be anywhere. honest. I do love to go to Sonic and... I oh, like me too, man. Sonic, two minutes away from me. Sonic, Chick Fil A. Enough of the gay thing, people. We don't don't bring out your Bibles and your whips, people. This ain't the <clears> South. <throat> um, I love 
uh, like I said, Sonic. I like a good sushi place, you know, with good sushi. And, you know, sometimes <clears throat> Texas Roadhouse. Sorry, guys. It's a little, little in the nose, you know. Ugh. That's fine, man. Go ahead. Anyway, that's what I was saying. Uh, Chipotle is okay. Red Robin. I fucking love Red Robin. Unfortunately, it's not my area. I only I only go to Red Robin when I visit family from out of town. So true. But it is good though. It is good. Another one. It's not in my area. I will say it's a Texas thing. When I used to live in Texas, I did eat at Waterburger and you know Taco Bell. I mean, I go to Taco Bell not a lot as I used to. Pizza Hut. You gotta you can't get wrong with some good pizza. Oh, uh, I, I love Pizza Hut. I actually work at Pizza chicken. Hut. Church's chicken. Popeye's chicken. Yeah, that's good choices, man. Man, you just made me create Pizza Hut now. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you. Like I said, the choice for my birthday, I'm going to decide between, like I said, I'm in the southwest area, folks. I don't want to tell you where I am because I don't want you little teddy bears to find me. Uh, <laughs> try to be nice by not calling you guys pedo bears. Teddy, Pito, all right. Good. You guys are not dumb. I'm just kidding. I call you dumb, but, you know. Um, I tried to uh, decide. Get to the point. Oh, it's a sprinklers. What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought I swear there's a guy farting outside. Something like that. But I'm fine. Um, my place is my top five birthday spots. I would either go to... Uh, outlaw, uh, outlaw, <laughs> outlaw. Let's go to outlaw. Um, um, Outback Steakhouse because I've never been there in so many damn years. Golden Corral, but that's only only for fat. You know, it's the whole go slobber on because I go crazy over there. Church's Chicken, Red Lobster, but even though it's not one of my areas, so that has to be off the list. Um, another one would have to be. It's kind of hard. Uh, not Luby's. I know I like Luby's. Oh, that that sucks. Um, like TV said that he doesn't have Sonic or Chick Fil A in Canada. Dude, I live in the Northeast. The only one that's oh, only oh, forty miles from my house. Sonic? I would actually die if I, if my area had no Sonic. Red Lobster, uh, Red God. Robin, I could live with, but Sonic, I just can't because I pretty much go to Sonic at least twice a week. As a kid, I grew up with this In and Out Burger. Yeah, I whenever I go to Arizona once in a while or to California with some friends and my family, we yeah. always make it a family trip. No matter how many fucking days or how many times around the day, we get addicted. Yeah. We see that little N sign and say, "Oh, it's time to eat our burgers!" <laughs> Yay! And eat a lot of burgers. Oh, and uh, in terms of the Family Guy and other shows, let just want to say it quickly before I do forget. Like TV said, I've always hit a Family Guy and American Dad and the Cleveland Show. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest Seth fan, but I do like Ted for some reason. Oh, like, I love I love Ted. I love Ted. I love Ted. A million ways to the West. Um, yeah, Seth MacFarlane quite lost his magic uh, compared to Ted, but hopefully he'll bring that magic back with Ted too. So. Don't miss me, baby. And the dolphins make me cry. Nothing that I can do. I want to be a girl like you. It is raining blood. Asked us, asked us. Oh man, I can't say that word today. Asked us. Anyways, anyways, if ghosts can walk through walls and glide downstairs, why don't they fall through the floor? Ghosts. Um, I. What? You know they're the ghosts. Fuck? They can just go through. So. <laughs> Last Casper, damn it. Yeah, Casper will give you all the answers. Ask Raven from Teen Titans also. She can float some shit also. And um, he hey, asked Raven's us, up. he also asked us, what things are you looking forward to most in Arrow Season 3? Uh, well, for I'm me... I'm not on Season 3. I'm, I started Season 2. Sorry, I'll review no, Arrow. I'm not, no, uh, Season 3 doesn't come out until October of this year, man. I'll try to catch up and get done with Season 2 and get it started. Still, but I'll still, review I'm, Season 1. You literally have like a few more months before season three premieres, so. Thanks, man. But you know, for, for who's asking, Rating Blood? 
Um, yeah, yeah. It was I'm, I'm going to review Arrow Season 1 for you guys. No spoilers, because I want you all to love the show, and it's awesome. Um, if you I haven't will... seen Arrow, watch it before Season 3 starts, because it's awesome. Although, Sh- Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I don't watch. Sorry, but... Anyway, um, it's pretty. Watch. It's pretty good, man. I like Agents of Shield. It it got better by the second half of the season, but still, the season overall nowhere near as good as uh, Arrow. I know, but it got oh, better by the second half. More TV news: Orange is the New Black is canceled. Oh, the Netflix show. Yeah, I read about that. My dad is gonna be so fucking pissed, <laughs> man. He loves that show. All lesbians and all that jailbait shit. Oh, um, I didn't get to answer his question. For I'm me, sorry. though, dude, you know, Arrow's uh, with season two. Don't worry, it's J5. I'm not spoiling season two. You know, without spoiling anything for anyone that hasn't seen it or for those that are recently getting into it, the best way to describe it is that I hope the tone still stays the same. Um, you know, I really can't say it without spoiling anything, but pretty much what everyone else is expecting, man, and if you guys want to see my thoughts on Arrow on, on, on Season 1 of Arrow and Season 2 of Arrow, I reviewed both seasons. You can check it out on this channel, so feel free to. Nice. Like I said, I'll have that up by the end of the week. Yeah. Now, if you're asking if I've been to Comic-Con or any Otaku-Con, no, I've not. Neither has this man. Okay, done with that question. Um, uh, hate the nut job next all right, sorry, I'm just going through random thoughts in my head. But uh, Hold on, um, uh, more questions are still popping up. I know, but if you guys are wondering about Smash Brothers, who do I want to come out? Captain fucking Falcon, damn it. But if oh, Sakurai... you guys, um, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, J- J5, and I'll tell them. For those of you who know about Smash Brothers 4, and you're looking at the man who's going to pre-order it when I get back to my town in Northeast, I'm going to pre-order Smash Brothers because Pac-Man, Pelatina, all the characters... But Fucking awesome. You guys know already. You've seen it. I have a 3DS. It's right here. Killed out October 3rd, Smash Brothers. I'm going to get it. So the polls are saying, do you want Ness, Ice Climbers, Jigglypuff, Mewtwo, um, Captain Falcon, Solid Snake, Rob, or Wolf? Who do you want to come back? I want Captain Falcon. But if they can somehow pull it off, then all right. All right, yeah, I was going to bring up, um, yeah, speaking of Super Smash Brothers, J5 made a very interesting video on Anime Chat Mondays here on this channel called What If Super Smash Brothers Was an Anime? And he discusses what it would be like if it was an anime. It's a very cool video, you guys. I hope you I, you, you could all check out that yeah. video. Just very creative stuff. And if I have to be honest, man, that's probably my favorite episode from you so far for Anime Chat Mondays. I just really love what you do with that video. Mine as well. Um, I, what I mean by anime people is that have it start from the beginning and get up to now. So that way we can change maybe the story with the characters. And I don't want to spoil too much. Watch my video. I explain it all. Yeah. I explain it at all. That bitch does not explain anything. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, it is Rainblood asked, do you like Nine Inch Nails? Are you asking um, me? I'm not, fa- I'm not familiar with it, so J5, you could answer this one. They're good. They're good, yes. I don't listen to them much anymore, but I'm going to get back to it. I mean, I'm hearing that there's supposed to be some new stuff coming out this year, so I'll check out what they yeah. got. What bands are overrated in your opinion? Fuck! Uh. I have to think about that. Go ahead and go first, man. I, I gotta think about this one. I'm gonna include singers that I have the goddamn right. Austin Mahone, One Direction, Matt Midler. Fun. You know, um, I don't hate One Direction to be honest, but um, I'll say they're a little bit overrated. You know, they're they're a pretty good band. I'm not gonna lie, but. You know, I don't hate them, so... Yeah, I guess I'll see One Direction. Hanson. I don't know why they're still performing. That's the only reason. Yeah. Gita Girls. Over this fuck. Yeah. Let's see. You know, I don't know what I'm aiming at. Justin Bieber. Oh, but he, but he said band, though, not singer. I don't care. 
my anger is rising every goddamn second. Operation is conquering this decade. Why are so... Okay, let's shut up. I'm sorry, guys. It's just... It's consuming me like a virus. I'm sorry, Tiger Dude. Oh, that's fine, man. But yeah, that's what I thought of. Okay, um, he asked, do you like Pink Floyd? Haven't really heard much, so... Yeah... Oh um oh pink um yeah I've I've heard of Pink Floyd um I guess um Pink Floyd's okay. We don't need no education, teacher. Leave those kids alone. I like. Pink Floyd. Oh um he asked um would you kill an innocent person if it meant saving dozens of other people? Uh, no. I'm not a heartless person. And you all know that. Okay, it's Matt Mini, but Tiger Dude knows. Mm -hmm. I'm a kind soul. Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm a kind soul. Yeah. I don't mean harm to anyone. Um, and anybody would normally do. You know, if not an innocent person, I don't want to do that, man. Like, if it's, someone really, if it's someone really dangerous and uh, they're out to kill someone, then yeah. If it's someone really dangerous and evil, I would... I wouldn't want to do it, but if I had to, if it meant saving a lot of other people, I would honest—I honestly would honestly. If it's just if it's anyone from Disney Pop, or I said honestly, and, or okay. anything that I hate of this decade, yes. Yeah. If it's Michael Bay, yes, I want him to die. I'm just kidding, dude. But if that was the case. Yes, I know how a lot of people feel about Michael Bay, but it's not right to wish someone. Okay, is I won't say Michael Bay. Just Shyamalan. someone in general, man. Shyamalan, though. I I don't want him dead, man. I don't want anyone dead. Hell, even Just the creators the of even the creators of epic movie, dude. Those two. Oh, oh, I don't want them dead. I want no one dead, man. No matter how bad the films they make. Are. I know. It's just it's just my we all have weird thoughts and just I'm sorry. Yeah. Forgive me. But good job for it. It's raining blood. Awesome. Name. Yeah, it's raining it's raining blood is helping us get more questions. Seriously. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. And let I me know. ask Raining Blood. Actually, this is a good coincidental question. Are you a fan of Slayer? Because I know why your name is Mediterranean Blood, because that's a song. Are you a fan of Slayer? Because if you are, rock on, bro. Same here. Yes, you. give us the answer, man. Tell me, little one. <laughs> I know, I know the Q&A I'll be doing soon. Um, he wanted me to ask, answer like 200 plus questions, but it's all like it would take a long time, especially for the other questions I have to get to. So it's good that we're doing this so he could give me all the questions he wanted me to ask. If he wanted to ask us. It'll be quality is the best authority. Yeah. Um, and for mine, same thing. I haven't got a QA and a set up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm going to try my best to set up on next week. Hey, uh, dude, uh, it's Rain Blood. Just asked one of the best questions ever. <laughs> Do you it's think like Barney the Dinosaur is a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk yeah, like Barney? I, yes, I really think so, honestly. <laughs> Can I do an impression for him? Go ahead. <laughs> kids. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a bastard family. We're a it's great, a great big 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 for me. Big. Okay, wait. What am I doing? I want to fuck you all night, too. All night, too. Hey, and then no. Lana, Lana Valerie just said, hi, guys, from Russia. Hi, Lana. Thanks for joining us and celebrating our birthdays. Thank you. And You just paused there, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's been done, yeah. That's been done. But thank oh, you. Oh, um, uh, it is Rain Blood just answered your question. Yes, I am a fan of Slayer. The song Raining Blood was how I came up with my username because I created my YouTube account in 2010 and I was listening to a shitload of metal music at the time. Now, if you ask me if I'm a metal fan, yes, we're both one the same. And I enjoy metal too, but I'm pretty sure you're more of a hardcore metal fan than me, man. 
This is for a yeah. I'm sorry, I scream out. I know. So my brother's got me in the metal. If you want to know yeah. the story, my dad is kind of you know my father's classic '70s '60s rock guy. You know the Beatles. You know I'm listening to more of the Ramones because they're awesome. Yeah. You know Metallica. I know a little bit of the weird stuff like Paramore and stuff. We can experiment with Evanescence and all that. I'm trying to blend. Tenacious D, because that like is funny. I'm yeah. blending different metal, so I'm kind of like a little <clears throat> composer to my iPhone. Nice. And this is a 5E actually, the new iPhone I got for the summer, so it's awesome. Yeah, and I'm stuck with this phone, oh, which is like slow. So <laughs> one of the slowest phones I have. <laughs> step in time, step in. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Scrum diddly. Oh, I'm sorry. Scrum diddly umptious. Finally, I got to say that shit. I'm sorry. Oh, um, uh, uh, Blake TV just asked. Oh man, what is it with me with that word? Anyways, do you guys do collabs with anyone? No. I don't. Um, me? Yeah, I've done collaboration reviews, Blake. If you want to check them out, like. I can name a few, like, I just recently posted my review on Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Sir Ty Jensen, very nice guy, check out his channel, he collaborated with me to review that one, j 5351 a uh, j 8 and I actually reviewed the Pirate Fairy together, and uh, oh, Justin, yeah. Justin watches movies, another cool dude, check out his channel. He and I reviewed Avatar together. Oh, and also, you guys, there's this big collaboration video I did. It's probably the biggest collaboration I've done. I made a video called What a Movies to Watch for Father's Day. I have Movie Man Chat in that video. Movie Man Manzel, creator of We Live Film, in that Child video. Uh, oh, J53518 was in there, too. Mark Krawcheck from The Final Cut was in it. Chase from Down in Movies was in it. Uh, up, Kevin, Kevin from Seed and IMAX was in it. And my and followed by my best buddy, Saran Rage J. Bean in it. It's called Movies to Watch for Father's Day. Please check it out. It was a lot of fun, you guys. And it's my biggest collaboration video ever so far. And I was glad to do it because I begged this guy all day. Please. And he said, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're the only person that said, "Can I be in it?" Like others, I asked to be in it, and they and they would say yes or no. But you would say, "I want to be in it, a tiger dude." So I'm like, "Oh, get in here, fucker! You could be in the video." <laughs> because I'm lonely, oh so lonely, all yeah. on my own. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, me and J Five are both in the U.S. It is raining blood. Yes, America. Okay, maybe not America because of Obama, but hey, okay, enough of politics. This is it's, it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> eat me, eat me, What am I saying? Uh, if you guys want me to sing an anime theme song, go ahead. And I know. I'm going to do that to entertain you. <laughs> Nothing said or moon related, please, because I'm going to cry. Don't cry, man. Okay, another question from It Is Raining Blood. He asked, <clears throat> if, you, if you found an unconscious alien in your backyard at night, what would you do? Kill it. <laughs> yeah, Kill it. same. I, I'm sorry. I don't want my brain, uh, I don't want an alien to take my brain away or any parts of my body, so... I would honestly kill it or just try to convince it to go back to its home. You know why? I've seen Paul. Oh, God, what a weird movie I saw. Oh, yeah, Seth Rogen as an alien. Not a bad film, but just not a really good film. It's not a good film to me. Uh, I got a question for all of us. If you woke up in your bed with the hottest anime character ever, a female, not a dude, Unless you're gay, you can roll like that. What would you do? You woke up one morning with the hottest anime character. You can say the anime character, who, who the hottest anime babe. What would you do in the cover? What would you do? 
I'm bad at remembering names, so I'll skip this one. I know you would. Mm -hmm. We're all having fun, people. It's 2.35 where I am, and we're still doing it. We're trucking along. Now, this is a great honestly, day. Yeah, honestly, more questions are coming in now, so I, sh I say we should make this a little more longer, man. We're, we're cracking at two hours now. That's awesome. Yeah, actually, this is the first time I'm going to stay up overnight for this vlog. I might have to just yeah. take, a, take a nap, man, in the afternoon. But if you want to make it to like 4 o'clock or 4.30, I'm down for that. Yeah, depending how many people ask us, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, man. Let's just see how many more viewers we get, how many more questions we get. So far, we have three viewers, so thank you so much to those three viewers. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun so far to be honest. What do you think, J5? Are you having fun? If I'm not screaming in Japanese, which I usually sometimes make up, then I'm good. Okay. Um, okay. Is Rain Blood asked a very weird question? Are you prepared to answer this, J5? To <laughs> infinity and beyond. Yes. Even even reading this is like, oh, makes me feel dirty. Okay, be prepared. He asked if the Incredible Hulk walked up to you and said, prepare your anus, what would you do and how would you react? I would kill myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh... I'd, prob I'd probably call a thing from the Fantastic Four and just beat the Incredible Hulk's ass. I'd call Thor to help me. <laughs> I am Hulk. Or she Hulk, because she's more smarter than Bruce. Yeah. Or Ghost Rider. Wait, that's Nicolas Cage. God damn it. Oh, um, uh, Blake TV 101 just uh, gave us some sad news. Um, Blake said, dude, uh, sad news for Ramona's fans. Tommy Ramone, the final original member, died today. No. Yeah, I actually, I actually did read about that. Like, I would say 30 minutes before we started this live stream, I actually did read about that. And Tommy, Tommy, why? I think that's very, Tommy. I think that's very sad. Um, I mean, at least he was, at least he lasted longer than the other members. But I mean, that's the way. Of course, it's sad. Uh, and all we could say to to Tommy Ramone is rest in peace. Good job, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace in the hands of rock gods. Yeah. Uh, they were a great band, man. I may not listen to them in their heyday. At, at least the I mean, good thing is that they're all up in heaven together, man. All of them reunited. Uh, including the Bee Gees. Yeah. My dad's still crying about that. But anyway, even Kurt Cobain. Rest in peace, brother. Yeah. So if anyone doesn't want to hear, want to answer my weird anime joke, I understand. You guys are a little queasy. You feel but if you are, if you're not, then go ahead. Airshots twenty two, awesome. He's the okay. one that would. He's the one that would actually request me to review SpongeBob episodes from time to time, man. You heard well, him welcome. before. Yeah, Airshots twenty two just said, "I just found out you were live streaming." Well, awesome, man. It is our birthday, so me and Jayfa are celebrating it. Thank you for celebrating our <laughs> birthday with us. <laughs> don't don't scare don't scare air shots away. We just brought another viewer. We don't need to scare away another. <laughs> I'm fine, man. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, another awkward uh, question. Oh, have you ever God. licked have you ever licked pussy? No. You J no. <laughs> no. Okay, next question. This next question. Next question. Why? <laughs> I don't say. There's no strip. Okay, where I am in the Southwest, there's no whorehouse. There's like nothing. <laughs> God damn it! It's a barren fucking desert. God damn it! There's like one Sonic at the corner on like 10th Street. What the fuck? <laughs> Have you lit your? Okay, I'm gonna stop there. And I asked the dirtiest question. Oh, that's funny. I have a question for him. Okay, like... go ahead. It's dirty, though. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Have you rubbed one out? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Have you rubbed one out? Have you masturbated before? Uh-oh. 
Oh man, I look forward to seeing how he's going to respond to that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You asked something dirty. Man, since since <laughs> when did this birthday live stream turn in, turn into a discussion about pussies and masturbation? Dear God. Hey, he brought it. In. I'm finishing it, motherfucker. I don't want to make the viewers uncomfortable. So <laughs> that's the you only know, dirty for thing. Watching, I am sorry. You have to watch. That's the only this. dirty thing I'm gonna ask. If I ever do, okay. this man has the right to sh tell me to shut the fuck up. You got that right, Tony. All right. It is raining blood. He's going to answer it loud and proud, man. Oh, God. That's the only dirty thing I'm going to say. Because he said about pussy, it made sense for me. Hey, Jerry. I'm sorry. That's too. I like you're like, oh, God. What's going on? Oh, God. It's so disgusting. Okay. Um, Air Shots uh, asked me a question regarding my Spunder reviews. Airshots22 asked me, are you going to review all the Spongebob Vacation episodes in one video like you did with Legends of Bikini Bottom or in separate videos? Um, yeah, I'll do it into one video. The thing is that it might be another while because Legends of Bikini Bottom, wow, that video took me a long time to film. I had to do a lot of takes on them. Not only that, but I had to edit that whole 23 minute video. It took me three and a half hours to edit that whole Legends of Bikini Bomb video, man. That was that's not only my longest Splendor review ever, but that's the longest it took me to edit a video, period. So if I do review all the vacation videos into one video, I'm gonna pick the right day where I'm in the mood to review a lot of episodes and do a long time consuming editing process. I did review Mooncation, though. I reviewed it when I started on this channel. So if you want, you can even watch my review for Mooncation. I'll still do it once I get to the vacation episodes into one video. But, yeah, check out my thoughts on Mooncation if you're interested. It's one of my earlier ones. So the quality isn't quite as good as the videos you've seen now, though. Just be uh, aware of that. Good question. Okay, another question from the good old It Is Raining Blood. How would you react if you were caught... Oh, dear God. Okay. Oh, uh, God. Just so you know, It's Raining Blood. Uh, last question involving sex or masturbation. I don't want this live stream to be about that, please. Um, how would you react if you were caught masturbating on live TV? And yes, J5, I have jacked off many times. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raining Blood. That's the only thing. Um, let me play you an audio clip. You'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> just seriously, keep cut that. I don't want. I don't want it to get weird for anyone watching now. I would scream like fuck and then run out of there. I would kill myself. Okay, final question. Um, no more questions about. You know that stuff, please, it's rain blood. All right. The question, he said, how do you get rid of your cum after masturbating? I myself just lay in my underwear, LOL. I'm not answering that. I, I clean not. up my shit from the, I clean my shit with the paper towel and throw in the end. If it's toilet paper, flush it away. All right. That is it. All right, that's it. Uh, no more questions about no all the stuff. Questions, that people. Blood. That's I'll tell you. Nice I'm going to cry some more. Please, YouTube, take me. <laughs> you did it on yourself, it's raining blood. Sorry to be funny, but you kind of did it on yourself. Okay, um, Blake TV just said, all right, guys, it's late. I think I'm going down. It was fun, and like I said, keep it up. Well, uh, good night, good night, Blake TV, and thank good you morning, so much for celebrating our birthdays. So, yeah, thank you so much, Blake, and you have a good night. Thank you. I'm sorry for the dirty questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> good night, man. All right. Yay, now we're getting some nice, natural, beautiful questions again, not dirty ones. He I'm asked sure. us, do you like pancakes? Oh, I like pancakes. I really love pancakes, actually. Do I have to play the song? Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like this. Oh, <laughs> I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> IHOP has the best pancakes, man. Every time I go to IHOP, I just have to get the I pancakes. agree, man. I love pancakes with, with 
over with over it with eggs, bacon. I love the smokehouse special from IHOP, man. The smokehouse order. Two bacon strips, two bacon strips. Um, yeah. I get the sausage with uh, you know, so sunny side up eggs and pancakes, smother the egg and it in delicious syrup. It is good. Yeah. Actually, I might do that. I might do that this week because this movie is kind of a birthday week. I'll go hang with my dad at IHOP because it's right near my house. So that'd be kind of cool. Hey, nice. You want to prove that I don't choke on eggs? No, it's not a dirty joke, people. It's because I never liked eggs as a kid because I'm getting used to it now as I'm growing up. Because you need to eat your food, people. You can grow big and strong. All right. Airshots22 just asked uh, us. Um, was the ear piercing joke in That's My Boy just as bad as the ear piercing joke in the episode Brian and Stewie? No. Brian and Stewie, Brian and Stewie dude, in case you don't know, it's the episode where. Remember, have you seen the episode where the both of them are stuck in the bank together? Yes. Yeah, that's the episode. Remember when I, Stewie gets uh, his. Ear I hate piercing? That's My Boy, and I don't watch the new episode of Family Guy. End of your question. No, but the question is, do you think the ear piercing joke in That's My Boy is just as bad as the one in Brian and Stewie? Again, what did I just say? I don't watch those much anymore. I hate That's My Boy with a goddamn passion. But no, I, no, but you've seen the episode, right? I don't know. Okay, the question is, I don't know. I oh, okay. Mean, I it's bad. Um, honestly, means- I, for- I forgot about the ear piercing joke in That's My Boy, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, and I think that's a good thing, actually. So I'm going to have to say the one of Brian and Stewie. I can remember the Brian and Stewie, but that's my boy. I don't remember seeing any ear piercings. So, yeah, Brian and Stewie, not only is it the worst Family Guy episode I've seen, I hated that part overall. So. If you're all wondering why you heard screaming, uh, that's not me. I don't have that hybrid screaming. That's from Fairy Tale again. It's when Mita Jane fights Freed during the Magic Games. So, sorry if I was screaming that loud. That wasn't me. All right. Blame- it is Rain Blood asked us, do you mind if friends copy your work when doing a test? Honestly, um, it really bugged me in high school. And um, um, I guess no one in college, no one really does copy you because, you know, people are more, how you say, independent, more responsible in college. But in high school, yeah, it really bugged me when someone could obviously just go, okay, here's the answer. I swear. Here's a notice. Oh, Let's see God. my emotions with it. A fist. Have you ever never- caught anyone copy from you? Yes. Uh, it's one it's little it's son of a bitch. the most yeah. fucking annoying thing ever, man. It's annoying because I'm, even when they cheat on the final, that's what pisses me off. It's like, dude, you had failing a whole fucking year. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get a good grade here, you asshole. Even in Spanish. Oh, my God. I just sat... Okay, up. um, both the ear piercings pretty much the same. Oh, okay, Rashad. Okay, I, I remember, remember, honestly. The... All right, that's good enough. Yeah. Glad you guys are contributing. It's very good. I'm excited. Yeah, we're, start- we're starting to get more questions. Remember, anyone else other than the train blood that want to ask questions, go ahead, ask as many as you want. No we are having a blast so far. So. Me and Raining Blood had a weird, let's just say, cock fight with questions, and it ended <laughs> so glad. Yeah, fun. If you guys want to sing an anime song, we're gonna you guys... Be, we're going to be known as the, uh, the birthday live streams that had dirty stuff. Dirty talk, as I should Never. Say. Never. Title it that. I don't want us to look like a bunch of pervs. <laughs> Aaron, what place is the back, man? You guys want to do uh, impressions of Eagle Raptor or John Tron or any famous person? Please. Please. I'm able to. Yes, I care about you people. Because you're all I have left. I could have been contender. I could have been somebody. So uh, oh, uh, if you say a question, please let me know. All right. 
just looking up something anyways. Hmm, let's see here. <laughs> Don't worry, J5. You're alive. <laughs> ah, jelly belly. <laughs> oh, J5. Uh, mommy, okay, why see. am I in the bottom line? Let me see line? if there's anything interesting we could talk about. Hmm. Right on. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, Let's see. What can we talk about? Oh, another question from Is Rainblood. Thank you, man. Um, do you like Chinese foods? Oh, I really love Chinese food, man. In fact, my favorite Chinese, uh, chi Chinese, what the hell? Chinese place I like to go eat Chinese food at is actually a place called the Golden Buddha. It's my favorite Chinese restaurant ever. I love going there. So, yeah, I, I really enjoy Chinese food, man. What about Golden you, J5? Buddha. Are you talking about yeah, the Golden a, Buddha? Yeah, it's a, it's a place. It's a it's a Chinese restaurant here at my area, so. I've been to Golden Buddha. I loved it when I went there. I knew my yeah. mom's friend's daughter used to work there, so I liked it. it was oh, great neat. Place. Yeah, I love Golden Buddha, man. I used to live there in Oak, and, you know, I don't want to stay in the city. You know, it's not. I used to live where Tiger used to be. Yeah, uh, yeah. good job. Yeah, I've been in a lot of Chinese places, man, but they've never compared to Golden Buddha, in my opinion. True. Now, okay. sushi is a different avenue. Oh, go ahead. Now, if you're talking about sushi, I love sushi. That yeah, sushi's pretty good. Um, he asked us, what female superheroes do you think are hot? Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, there you go. Black Widow, Phoenix. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, man, wow. Uh, like I said, Scarlett Johansson. How's that woman get too hot? How is she not? How is she? How is she staying hot? That's the question I gotta ask. No, uh, no. Actually, I'll, actually, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Jennifer Gardner as Electra, I think she's freaking hot. Honestly, I think she's good as Electra. Are you gonna <laughs> ask villains? Because if that's if you're gonna ask that, then that's fine with that. Uh, Black yeah. Widow again. I think that's all I have to say. Um, anyone else? I would have to say. The Jean Grey, well, oh, you know, Anka Jensen, uh, maybe in the original, yes, but not in the new stuff. Um, who else? Oh, Jesus, so many superheroes. Oh, Jesus. Now, if, now, if Wonder Woman is done right in the Superman stuff, then I'd put her up there. Yeah, we'll have to see how Gal Gadot is Gal Gadot. in the film. She she is beautiful from how I've seen, but we'll see how she is when the movie outfit? comes out as Wonder Woman. Yeah. So. Did you see her outfit? Oh Woman? yeah, man. That looks awesome. And yeah, I gotta say, um that's the only no offense, but that's the only superhero I can think of that's hot, Black Widow. Yeah. My web every day. <laughs> I think most people can agree that Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson is the most hottest female superhero we've done so far. And she has no superpowers. That's what makes it so natural. Yeah. She can and like I said, that. Jennifer Garner, she's hot as Electra, so those are the ones that come up in my head. Oh, no, no, Anne Hathaway as Catwoman. She's yes, cool. thank yeah. you. I was going to lose it. She, I guess you could say she was perfect. And speaking of hot women, do you think Maggie Grace is hot? Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, I think she's a. I think she's hot. I think she's very beautiful. Maggie Grace. Maggie Grace. She's. Maggie. She plays the daughter in Taken. Yes, I think she's hot. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, no, I'm done. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Do you enjoy golf? I've never played golf, to be honest. I like the driving range and driving the go-karts. That is it. 
a golf. I mean, I like a good once in a while family golf game. But yes, to a point, yes. Driving range and driving the caddy is my favorite thing to do. I don't know why. I love driving the go karts. Maybe yeah. I'm a gamer. Maybe I'm a gamer. Maybe that's why. Mario Kart. Okay. That's. Oh, go ahead. Mario Kart, the golf course. Whoa! <laughs> I have Oh. Next question. Ketchup or barbecue sauce? I'll go with barbecue sauce. I don't eat it that much, but I'll have it. And ketchup, I'm just not a fan of. I'm tongue-tied. I can't think straight, Mama. I don't got a little bar. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm even with both. I like both. Okay. I can't, okay, I can't. You can't, you can't make me choose one. You can't have one with the other. One of these things is not like the other. All right. Um, do you think Summer Glau is hot? Who I don't is know that? who that is, to be honest. Next question. You don't know who she is either? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you want to sing an anime song, go ahead. Um... All right, next question. What is the film that everyone is looking forward to this year that you aren't really looking forward to? Um, I have to think about that, honestly. Same here. Let's see. Let me think about that, Matt. Give me, give this tiger dude here, the dude with tiger power. Get, let, let him think about that. I have no answer, so that's it. I don't know. A lot of movies oh, out there. Oh, um, uh, Dumb and Dumber 2. I'm sorry. I'm just not really interested in Dumber Dumber 2, to be honest. The trailer... I was literally going to troll you guys and say, let's be cops, but you know what? I was going to say The Maze Runner. I have heard nothing about it yet. I'm kind of going to it'll suck. That's why. Uh, my yeah. dad wants to see it, but I'll wait till it comes out. I may be wrong, but that's so far currently standing The Maze Runner. Yeah. Oh, uh, Summer Glau plays Isabel on Arrow. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I do yes. think she's hot. Damn straight. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm not familiar with the uh, most of the actors' names, uh, so thanks for bringing that up. It's Rain Blood. She's hot. She can light my summer. Ah, oh, dude. Can we just stuck with my... all the dirty stuff, and you just had to go there. She can brighten up my summer day every day. Okay, next question. Do you drink? Uh, um, as, w describe drink. Drinking alcohol, drinking tea. I'm drinking tea, a sweet tea right now, actually. Um, alcohol, no. Um, like at family events, I'll have a dash of wine, but really I don't drink anything. I don't even drink beer, period. So just not into that. <laughs> Wait, you're asking five, you, you have your craziness, so you go ahead and say this one. I drink. But I drink. I'm not drunk. I'm mature with my drinking. That's good, man. I'm not like one of those yahoos here in the Southwest. So, yeah, beer is good. We're going to go off the airway 21. <laughs> well, then they die. Next question. Do you smoke? Nope. No. Not at all. Not at all. If you see, because, guys, I have bad lungs. I was born with bad lungs. Tiger Dude knows this. If I smoke... No more J5. Nice right. question. Have you ever been arrested? Nope. Nope. I've been stopped, but, you know, that's once another thing. <laughs> that was because I crashed my car once, but that was it. I've never been arrested by a cop. Oh, I remember you told me about that. Uh, I don't want to bring that memory up, but, you know, yeah. it's moving on. The past is past. You know, that, that bridge has already been gone over. Okay, have I been called, see. Now, if you call, he's called me gay. I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. So much. All right. Airshots, Airshots 22 asked us, what's a movie you loved as a kid but hate now? Hmm. That's a good question. Now, Tiger Dude is going to be 20, you guys. I'm going to be 23. I was born in 91. I was going to say Space Jam... But y'all would totally hate me because I'm still iffy on that. 
if it's really a good movie or not. I'm looking at my VHS uh, collection right there. I'm looking at it. What movie did I used to like as a kid but hate right now? Uh, Discarding Swan Princess, Inspector Gadget, all that weird shit. Uh, let me be honest. Oh, oh, I, I just, I just looked at one man. Um, Rocky and Bullwinkle. I love that film as a kid. Like you have no idea how much I love that film as a kid. Um, now I rewatch it as I am turning twenty years old in the year two thousand fourteen. <laughs> it's not good. It really isn't. So that's my answer. What about you, man? Have you figured out yours? All right. It's a rocking boy. Oh. I never liked Kazam. How dare you guys make me like Kazam? Fuck you, people. What movie did I not <laughs> like as a kid? Flubber. Oh, my God. I liked Flubber as a kid. I hate it right now. Oh, my God. I don't think Robin Williams was that funny in that movie. No offense. I love him as the genie. I'm sorry. I still love Aladdin. I still love the Disney classics. Pokemon. I'm going to stop right there. Just and then um, Blu-ray Hoarder just said, um, Chloe Moritz and Kick-Ass 2. What, a, what about her, man? Like, Do you mean like in terms of how badass she is, how good she is? All um, that. What do you mean by that? She's all that in the bag of chips, man. She's hot. I mean, what? It's just me. Really? Shame for you all. She she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. To be honest, with me being 20 and her just being 17, I feel very weird because I have to admit oh, no. that a no, girl at that age weird. is pretty. So I <laughs> feel very weird saying that shit. Oh yeah, because you're 23. <laughs> <laughs> Jail time? No. Oh my gosh. But yeah, without getting anything too weird, she's a beautiful girl. She's very talented. She kicks ass as hit girl and kick ass too. Yeah. Now, if you said Jennifer Lawrence, yes, she's in both our league. Well, she's near yeah. my age, so I have a shot. <laughs> hey, I would still have a shot with Jennifer Lawrence, actually. Uh, all right. Okay, more questions from It's Rain Blood. Do you like the band The Police? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm a huge fan of The Police. I love their music. What about you, J5? I listen to them. They're good. All right. Roxanne, you don't have to put on a dress tonight. The face all over. Lift on a chair, body to the night. Roxanne. Okay, um, J5, this is more of a question for you. I can't answer this one. Do okay. you like Japanese rock music? If you're talking about, should I get into like Japanese metal, like baby metal? I should. Should I get into it? The question is, I've not heard Japanese rock. I've heard anime theme songs. Well, that never, that counts pretty much, actually, man. And I've heard Japanese theme songs a little bit, like Linked Horizon. Yeah. I'm starting to hear more. I'm getting into it a little bit, but. If I get a chance, yeah, I liked Gordon no Yumiya and, you know, Zegama said so, and then the Yega, you know. I mean, I'm going to get into it, but so far, I'll see how it goes, man, but thank you. I don't like yeah. them, but, you know, I'm going to get into it, see how it goes. If I don't like them overall, then that's just me. No one to All blame, right. but just what interests are. All right, um, he asked this one. It's a political one. I'm not going to really go into details with this one. Why do people hate Barack Obama? I mean, come on, he's a nice guy. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet. I think as of late, he's just making a lot of mistakes. I don't like what he's doing. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be the minority on this one. One word: Obamacare. All right. I'm not the political kind. Uh, just so you know, guys, I'm not into politics. I'm not even to the whole uh, the voting thing. So I do love. I do watch the news when I can, but you know, I don't want to get too involved as well. That's what's left yeah. in the White House. Is left for the White House. It's not bad to learn what's going on because it helps to develop a good, intelligent mind. But 
you know, when there's enough, there's enough. Yeah, true. But thanks for the question. All right. Oh, God. Um, Air, Air Shots 22 said, I don't feel weird saying she's hot because I'm the same age as Chloe Moretz. Well, look for you, Air Shots. Uh, you should hang yeah. out with her. You should, you should hang <laughs> up with that. You know, you I should... mean, look, there's nothing wrong with saying a girl's beautiful. Like Haley Steinfeld, she's like 16 or 17. I think she's a pretty actress, you know, so there's no shame in saying that. But in terms of saying, oh, wow, she's hot. That makes me feel a little weird, you know, because, you know, so. The so when they, Why do you have to make me feel weird? Shit. The difference when they say Scarlett Johansson at 10 years old and they're 8 years old say it's hot. But when I see Anne Hathaway as Catwoman, I guess they say, God damn, that's hot. Yeah. You're a kitty kitty. Just kidding. Yeah. All right. Um, quest, question for J5. It is Rainblood said. Do you like the band X Japan? Never heard of them. Okay. Next question, please. Next question. Right, see. Is it I'm glad that we're getting more questions now. That's good, man. We're really Woo! keeping this going. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we got any more here. Michael Snickle, Michael. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, it's Rainblood just said, to the guys commenting here, you can post real questions by clicking be part of the conversation on the video screen. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's what I heard you could do, so. All right, chat. Do I click the chat button? Yeah. It's because I'm going back and forth, man. You know, I have the questions app, but I'm going on the live stream YouTube page because, you know, some people are commenting right, for themselves. I'm, says, like, I'm, like, going back and forth on it right now. I'm, I'm at your ask questions one, so I'm going to type something, all right? All right. Did you click on the Q and A app? What do you mean Q and A? Click, okay. click on the Q and A app. That's yeah, where you see click. all the questions, man. All right, I will do that a little bit. Uh, Q and yeah. A, right? That yeah, that, that's, I'm getting, I'm getting mainly it's raining blood's questions from there. Everyone else is just like on the commenting for the questions. That's the Shiny Dumbo. That's questions, questions, questions. Oh, that, thank you. Um. How do you feel about live action Dumbo, man? <clears throat> man. Why? Understanding. Why, Disney? Just why? Why what? are you. Why are you turn everything into what? live action? Okay, why is Disney turn everything live action? Look, we just recently had Maleficent. Not a bad film. It was just okay to me. But then we're going to have Cinderella. We're going to have Beauty and the Beast. Um. You know, we're going to have Dumbo. We're, we have more, but I can't remember. What else do we have? All right, I'm looking at the questions, the answer questions, all right? All right. All right, next questions we see. All right, um, it's Rain Blood asked a question, but I want to I want to test you, though. Um, do you see what he posted? Uh... Airshots22 said, I'm here now. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, that makes it easier you for like me, man, so door. thank you. Do you like the band The Doors? Okay, there you go. Yes, now you can see it. Good job. Not really. No offense, man. Um, I think they're a pretty good band. They're pretty good. Not my I favorite. Not, I'll not. be honest, not my favorite, but I like them. Wait, he said made to me. That means it's Australian. Damn. Awesome. He just finished saying he was in New Zealand. Nice. Still awesome. There's Island. Yes. Yeah. You guys are awesome. By the way, you guys, It Is Raining Blood actually has a channel of his own. So if you want to check it out, um, I'll actually go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Uh, he, he's a very cool guy, and he just he makes nice videos. He does movie reviews. So, yeah, It Is Raining Blood, he has a channel of his own, too. I've seen a few of his videos from time to time. He does a really good job with them. Yeah, yes. I plead for sure. And and he even defended JW Universe because uh, James ran into a few trolls recently. So a huge respect to you, man, for defending JW oh. Universe. Good job. I want, to, I want to please Shrek. He gets me oh, on. Oh, please. Please don't bring up that Shrek is love, Shrek is life. He lets out a mighty roar. Um, 
for those watching, how do you feel about that? Like, what did that video make you feel if you see it? For me, it makes me feel weird. I am disturbed. And I'm pretty sure it destroyed some people. <laughs> What is your favorite? Yeah, Dave, you're turning, you're turning cherry red, man. Damn. Uh. <laughs> I think you're transforming into Barney now, dude. <laughs> oh my god, oh. dude! Calm down. <laughs> grab, grab a water. Look. My favorite song, yeah, instrumental. Take my okay. tea. Take my tea to calm the I'll be down, back. Man. Go ahead. All right, guys. While J Five's calming down, let's see. What is your favorite instrumental song? Mine is The Call of Tulu. Sorry if I mispronounced that by Metallica. And thanks for the shout out, Tony Tiger Dude. Oh, you're welcome, man. You've always been a huge support to my channel. You pretty much comment on my videos all the time. So it really is the least I can do, man. So thank you so much. And I hope you find more stuff on my channel. By the way, you guys, I, in terms of movie reviews, if you guys are wondering why I'm lacking movie reviews, it's because I'm busy with family from out of town. I'm busy with work. I work at Pizza Hut. So, you know, things have just been crazy. And, like, you know, Wait. like the movie reviews. So, but I do have yet to post my movie reviews for Jersey Boys, The Rover, Transformers 4, Earth to Echo, Snowpiercer, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which I'm going to see in the morning for my birthday to celebrate my birthday. Yeah, Apes of My Birthday. And I just saw Begin Again, so I got to post my reviews for all those movies. I'll post it soon. To answer your question, Raining Blood, my favorite is Orion from Metallica. Orion. I'm going to say Enter Sandman from Metallica. That's not really much an instrumental song. Oh, it, oh where it's just, or where they're just playing. Yeah. That song, right? I hated that video. It made me cringe, and I felt like it's going to do something more important to me. Air shots. What's that? Let's see. Hold on. I hated that Shrek is Love video. It made me cringe, and I felt like it thinks it's more important than it actually is. Yeah, I could totally agree on Air Shot 22's point of view. It's not ogre till I say it's ogre. This is my... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 22 Tiger Dude, can you sing my mood to bring all the boys to the yard and Christian yes. Bell's Batman voice? Can I do it, please? Uh, actually, it would not be complete unless I bring my Batman mask. So you go ahead and do it, man. I'm going to go get my Batman mask. <laughs> you want me to sing it? All right. My milkshake brings all the boys. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's making me laugh. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're right. That's better than yours. Damn right. That's better than yours. I can teach you. But I'm Batman. If you want it, all oh, that sexy. <laughs> Yes, that's right, you guys. I actually have a Batman mask. Sing it, damn it. I did something. All right. <laughs> hey, um, very quick before I do, um, how's it go? They're right, it's better than yours, or damn right? Damn it's right. right. It's damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you what I have to charge my Mozart brings up. Okay. I'm just going to sing what I know, man, so I hope you enjoy this. Hey, <clears throat> blood. You're watching this. Oh, oh wait. Oh, <clears throat> wait. No, don't move your pecs. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. Hey, you're interrupting the Batman here. Let me do it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> My milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Damn right. They're better than yours. Damn right. Damn right. They're better I'm than yours. But I have to charge in the morning. I say, West Side bitches, I drink your milk. Yes. <laughs> Loving this. Oh. You guys are hilarious. Oh, Mr. Film Jack. Seriously, dude. Coolest dude. If you guys haven't checked out Mr. Film Jack's channel, please check him out. One of the nicest guys ever. I actually collabed with him for my review of How to Train Your Dragon, the original uh, film. Please check it out. But, yeah, thank you, Jack. I'm glad you're enjoying this live stream. Thanks, man. I'm glad we're trying to be funny. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. If you uh, want it, because damn right, my milkshake brings out a boy to the yard, and then like, it's better than, oh my god, I'm gonna die of fucking laughter, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> My milkshake burned out her boys to the yard, damn right. Damn right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are so fucking weird right now. Oh my gosh. How is this live stream even still going on, man? I don't even know how we're still it's even. It's 3 15 in the morning. I don't give a fuck. All my right. dad's out here. All right, well, I'm taking off this bat mask now, you guys. I'm Batman. Oh, my milkshake. Hey, are you going to do a birthday vlog later today like we did last year? Hey, Batman. Shut your what? shit. <laughs> shut, the fuck, shut the fuck up. Oh. oh, so do you want me to raise up my pecs then? Okay. No. <laughs> Not the face. Oh god, you're up close, god damn. Oh god, he's taking up. Oh. I'm gonna do a birthday vlog for you guys. But like again later today. And I'm hoping okay. to get some. Now that that's over. Yeah. Okay. It's Rain Blood asked me. It is Rain Blood. <laughs> sure. asked me. Hey, Twenty to Tiger Dude, are you gonna do a birthday vlog later today like you did last year? Oh, yeah, last year I did a birthday vlog on what I did for my birthday. Um, honestly, man, not this year. Actually, not really. I figured this birthday live stream would be a nice birthday thing for me to do this year. And, you know, since me and J5 obviously have the same birthday, it's a nice way for the both of us to do this live stream. So this is pretty much my ah, birthday sure. video of this year. I'm not sick. It's because of the dust on here, sorry. But am I going to do one? Yes. Yeah. I'm not an ingrate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, any more questions? This live stream is getting fucked Can you want me to now. sing an anime song, please? I'll do it. Ugh. Okay, um, can you sing the Dragon Ball Z Kai theme? I actually want to see that. Uh, I'll play the one online. There's no lyrics. All right. You need the instrumentals. Chala, head chala, na need Well, I shouldn't even play the Guitar Hero version. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys, I might play this a little bit to help me get into the mood. Because I can, I, it's going to be weird, but I love this. That will stop me in an idiot. I'm going to sing a little bit. Because, all right. I'm not going to like or anything like that. Oh, like, um, uh, Mr. Film Jack just said, awesome to be here live. Happy birthday, guys. Thank you. Well, thank there you, you go. Thank you so much, Jack. And you if, you, cool. if you have any questions for us, Jack, please ask us some questions. Got ask a God me, God me, God God so go ahead. And thank you so much for staying tuned. No. Damn you, Tiger Dude. Sparking. That's the whole song. Yeah. Well, good job, man. (laughs) I'm not the best singer, folks. I ain't Ricky Martin, and I'm not gay, all right? Yeah. That song hits my heart, and I feel so good. Hey, um, I'm going to go use the restroom very quick, man. Uh, you could answer the questions from here. Um, have you ever seen any of Mr. Andrew's SpongeBob reviews? 
Um, I can't answer the Tiger Dude's reviews. I'm going to try. Um, I'm sorry, Air Shots. I'm Jay. He's not here yet. He'll, he'll be back in a little bit, but I'm sure he'll get to your questions. Now, have I seen any of Mr. Enter's Spudger reviews? Yes, I have. I think he does a very good job. I know it's a different way of him doing it, but he does a good job. And Tiger Dude, if you could create any Spudger episode, what would the story be? I think he has an idea. But I'm not going to answer it because it's his question. Now remember, I'm answering for me, not Tiger Dude, all right? We'll go back to your question a little bit, but if you have any questions for me, you can go right ahead. Still rocking and rolling, people. Still rocking and rolling. Uh, Tiger Dude, okay. Have you seen Mr. Enter Spongebob reviews? I said I have. All right, man. I am back. Why to tell you, dude? If you could create any SpongeBob episode, what would your story be? Hmm, that's an interesting one. By it's raining blood. All right. Well, let me think. Let me think about that, man. I actually did have an idea, to be honest. Um, I just have to think about it. All right. I, know Give I had an idea before. before. Give him the time to think. And All I've right. seen these Mr. Spongebob reviews. But good job mm -hmm. for your questions, guys. Blue Ray Wonders and who inspired you guys to make YouTube videos? Ah, very good question. I'm gonna be honest, the man I'm speaking to right here inspires me. I'm not being gay, but I'm being honest. Uh, uh don't kiss my ass. Man. Chris, uh, I'm I was gonna say Chris Evans, not oh, fuck that. Uh, Chris Stuckman, I meant. Nostalgia <laughs> Critic, AVG. Chris, Evan, Chris Evans has a YouTube channel where I'll subscribe right kidding. away. Diela Bawaku. Um, you know, Linkara, the guys from Channel Awesome. Anyone I've subscribed to, JW Universe, Brian Mendoza, Negahiga, Negahiga, I mean, all those guys. J5, do you like Marilyn Manson? Okay, I, I just thought of one. You guys are going to be all, you guys no. are going to be all, oh, Tiger, dude, that's too, uh, let's see, that's too Not much Manson, Manson, but when I used to rock it up, when I started learning about metal, yes, but not anymore. Yeah. I don't like Manson. He scares me. Oh, wait, dude, I, I thought of that one. Um, you guys are probably going to be it's too hard seeing gutsy, but I don't know. I, I would be interested in seeing an episode where SpongeBob and Sandy actually date. I actually think SpongeBob and Sandy, as more episodes go on, they have nice chemistries. The newer episodes have been kind of giving you little tiny hints that they start to like each other. Like, there was an episode where SpongeBob, I forgot which episode it is, but... He compliments Sandy, and Sandy actually blushes and goes, "Why, thank you, SpongeBob!" Like you know, little cute. Oh God! So the shipping has begun. Stop where you are. Stop. I would like to see an episode where they go on a date. I'm not gonna lie. I want to see an episode where SpongeBob and Sandy go out on a nice, natural, romantic oh. date. Well, even if it's as a, even if it's as a friend, man, they don't have to kiss. They don't have to date. They could just go on a date as friends. It won't end like, like in high school. It won't end like in the anime series Mita Nikki. Where the two lovers actually make out at the end. Yeah. It's an anime about death gods and you know who's a crazy chick, but she's very compassionate. Y'all know yeah. what I'm talking about. It's anime. Come on, man. And to answer Blu-ray Hoarder, thank you for the question, man. And thank you me, have man. a cool channel. And I know and I see that you do live streams a lot, which I think is awesome. But to answer your question, I have uh, I have many inspirations like J5 actually started his channel two months before I did, so I would actually go on my way and say J5 is one of my inspirations. Thank you, man. Would, now, here's oh, a question yeah, for you. Man. I would actually like that idea to prove to people that SpongeBob is not gay. What the fuck? What kind of question is that? That's a weird question at that. Tiger Dude? Tiger dude. Tiger dude. You there, man? Hello? Tiger dude. Bro, you're there. Oh, thanks for sending us more questions, guys. Um, I think he's. It's a little thing he'll get back with us a little bit. But. Do I think Smudge has romantic feelings for Sandy? I think that's usually a, a trait in most cartoons, but. If there is, then there is. I'm not going to say there isn't, but there might be. Um, 
keep saying this. Tony, Tiger Dude. Um, you there, man? Hello? Hello? He'll be right there, man. He needs to give him time. Just give him time, people. Uh. Uh, Tiger in. Hello. Um. Uh. Um, if you guys are still here, Tiger Dude is busy at the moment, so keep submitting your questions and we can move smoothly. Smoothly. Um, yeah. What is my guilty pleasure movie? Blue Wonder, you ask me. Uh, Tony, is he okay? Um, I think he's trying to get back to the call, um, a training blood, but don't worry, I think he's all right. It's sometimes we have connection problems because of where we are. What's my guilty pleasure movie? It's kind of hard for me to say, but if I had to guess my guilty pleasure movie that I like, uh, it's kind of hard to name a actual pleasure movie. I'm actually going to go out of the way of saying one of these can be... Uh, I don't know what my good to pleasure movie is, man. I don't know. What can make you pleasurably guilty or gullible? I like to be funny about. But I'm sorry to answer that, but that's, that's just what it is. Uh, Tony, you still there? We're trying to come back, guys. Well, this is the end. Uh, I'm hoping this is not the end of the podcast, you guys. I'm hoping to get down here by 4 for 30 because, you know, today I got a couple more videos to make, you guys, and you know, I hope you guys. I'm glad. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this because you know, I hope I don't want you guys to tire yourselves out wherever you are in the world. And you know, I love doing this too. This like once. It's gonna be kind of like a once in a lifetime thing for me and him because we have our own videos to do. And you know, to be to you know, this is gonna this is getting kind of crazy. But you know, I'm hoping to see if I hope Tiger Dude is okay. But as a friend of his, and I know we all were are good fellow subscribers and. I'm going to see if we can get back this train rolling so we can get this done by 4.30 so I can get some sleep. Not that I don't have to go, not that I don't have to do anything tomorrow. I just have to spend time with my, you know, my dad because I'm staying here with my pops for vacation because I don't, I spend time with him days in and days out. So I'm here till like mid-August and I got to go back to my hometown. I got to go to my other town to start college. So there, that's what I'm doing. Take it, please pick up. Come on, man, you can do it. Let me check. Uh, let me check. Let me check something. Actually, come on, Tony, please pick up. Come on, man. And if you're wondering if I'm going to keep doing the 50s, um, the 50s movies, then I am going to do the 50s movies because I need to give some, some reviews to classic movies because we're too focused on the modern, so, 
Yeah, let's see how that goes. Well, Tony, oh. At least if I can reach him, you guys, we get him back on here, all right? What video are you guys making today? So. What video am I making today? How would you like to see the Simpsons end? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to answer for Tony on this. Um, I have to answer for myself, obviously, because I have to. Um, what other questions do you have for me? Oh, yes. Uh, what videos are you making today? Me, I'm going to do Fantasy Wars for you, uh, Mr. Film Jack. I'm going to make uh, my birthday tribute to Tiger Dude, a present for him. I'm going to do a shout-out to you guys. I'm going to do a shout-out for you guys and other YouTubers around. Um, I'm going to do some more reviews. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. I really can't fucking believe that just happened. My laptop shut down on me, you guys. I really want to say I'm so sorry about what happened. It was really fun, and then that just had to happen, so that really pissed me off. So I'm sorry if the live stream didn't continue on didn't continue on as I would have liked it to be, but I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I want to thank J53518 so much for doing this with me because it's both of our birthdays, so it's a way for us to celebrate our birthdays together. I want to finish answering Blu-ray Hoarder's question, though, before I do end this whole thing. My inspirations other than J53518 um, were Chris Stuckman, Jeremy Johns, The Flick Pick, Nick Yakabuchi from Real Screen Review, Stephen Hunt, Schmoes No. Those are all my inspirations to start on my channel. If it weren't for those guys, I would not have my own YouTube channel. So I want to thank them so much. Thank you to everyone that was asking me J53418 and me questions the whole time. Thank you for celebrating our birthdays with us. I really felt like you we were having a real party. So, you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude uh, here on this live stream with me and J5348 celebrating our birthdays. So, don't forget, this, this is 22 Tiger Dude saying, I will always have Tiger Power. And for J5348, happy birthday, bro. Thanks for joining. Thank you to everyone who joined and. Tiger Power to good old J5 because him and I sharing birthdays, I would say, is pretty fucking awesome.